Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Hey, Sephiroth, Jacko, what's up? I'm continuing this Mother 3 run. So far, we've seen Duster, Wes, Kumatora just joined our party. Duster left. I can't remember exactly where I'm supposed to go next, but... I should go to Mapson because he usually gives me the right directions. Kind of an abrupt start, but I want to play through this game so badly. Man, oh hello. Are you an acquaintance of Wes? Is? Kind of. Hey mister. Are you a friend of Duster's? Mm. Well, if she's asking Wes, Wes is Duster's father, so no. Weird girl. Yeah, come to think of it, you really are pretty. Oh, so she mistook the gender guy. I bet you're pretty popular with the girls, huh, Mr. Hold on, Allie. I think that's a miss, not a mister. Good catch. So, is Duster here? Because this is Duster's house. This is Duster's room. Fully revitalized. Just how I like it. I kind of feel like this music is all remixes of like really like classic, uh, classic, classic music. What's happening here? It's a town... town gathering. Old Man Wes. There's... where's Duster, that scum bucket? <laughs> He's the only one I told about the money I hid in the well. And now it's gone. So they all think Duster is a criminal now. He was a thief by trade. That was my money. But Duster actually did leave the money there. He didn't take it. We've already asked a thousand times, but where did you get it in the first place? And besides, what is money anyway? This sounds all see fishy if you ask me. Flint's in the picture now, with Boney. Shh. <laughs> they don't even know what money is and they're getting all upset about it. Look, Wes and Duster are both thieves. But they never did anything before, because we never had anything to steal in our village. But we all know they'd steal good stuff, like money, if they ever saw it. Alright, shut your hole and listen, punk. <laughs> He's just like causing a scene. Who are you? A friend of the thieves? No violence. No violence. <laughs> Old man Wes, that guy's all words. Let's just, uh, all calm down. Kicking up a fuss won't help us figure out anything, especially with Duster gone. The villagers and I believe you. So for now, let's just wait for Duster to come back. Duster, you moron. You better come back soon. That old man's just like, he's no good. Child abuse. The mysterious group that has been tinkering with the forest creatures in almost toy-like fashion has finally commenced, and has planned to alter the town, the lives, and even the hearts of the people. It seems as if the grand scheme of, of some sort is hidden behind the actions of the suspicious peddler who has recently arrived. However, 
Not everyone is content to sit quietly by as the enemy continues its odious attacks from every angle. Flint, whose family bonds were torn to shreds. Wes and his son Duster, the thieves of justice. Princess Kumatori, the mysterious girl who suddenly appeared. Destiny is bringing together those who would use their power for good. And what has become of Lucas, the crybaby? All good questions. Hop. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that has happened so far? Mm, yeah. It's been a while since I saved. Save it. When I logged on today, I was like, I got that message from Letter that's telling you to like put the controller down and take a break because it was on AFK for a long time. That looks like a big gigantic pig snout with with like landing gear. <laughs> My teeth look really bad. Yikes. Pig ship troopers. Is that what they're called? Starship troopers or no storm troopers? Pig storm troopers. Why do they have a monkey? <laughs> they just like entered the scene in a gigantic spaceship with a monkey. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Two monkeys actually, a female monkey and a male monkey. Hey, that's facade. Is that a play on words? Like, he's putting on a show? A facade for everyone? But his intentions are actually, like, kind of evil? Alright, monkey, listen up. If you don't do your job, then this girly monkey is as good as dead. Do what you're supposed to do and you'll get to have a nice, happy reunion later. Understand? Both of you. And this girly monkey could wind up dead if you're not careful. How did he get shocked? Is it from the collar? I think it was. Poor guy. Well, how do you like it? That lovely thing around your neck is no ordinary collar. It's so advanced that even if you ran to the ends of the desert, Punishing you would be a snap. Come to think of it, monkey, you don't have a name, do you? You're gonna need one from here on out. I hope you can come up with something cute. <laughs> Alright, what is it? I'm guessing that I have to, like, I gotta play this guy for a little bit, at least. He's doing backflips. I wish I could do backflips like a monkey, but I can't. Alright, stupid monkey salsa. I'll only say this once, so listen close. If you want to enjoy your little journey with me, just remember these two things. You and I are buddies. Don't you dare try to run away from me. Always behave and act nice and friendly. Got that? Yes. Good boy, the second thing to remember, never disobey my commands. If I say dance, you dance. If I say laugh, you laugh. It's that simple. Got it? Sure. Do what I say and we'll both get through this without any hard feelings. Oh, what's that defiant look in your eyes? Dance, monkey, dance. That wasn't a dance. Who told you to do a backflip? No, he's gonna shock me. Yikes. Not a good thing. How do I dance? Left. 
that's such that's such a silly monkey dance that just watching it is embarrassing. Try a different dance. Right. Press right. Good boy. Laugh. Down. <laughs> Back foot. Up. I see, I see. No doubt everyone will believe we're a performance duo now. Aw. His monkey girlfriend's getting kidnapped. What are those guys underneath the mask? They make like really convincing pig sounds. A stupid monkey. You only get to cry when I tell you to. No crying on your own. It's punishment time. Hey, you. Quit sleeping on the job. Alright, listen. There's a white round building west of here. We're going there. You wound up. You wound up being taken, uh, taken with facade. Damn. What is this? The frog? Yeah, frog barrel. I guess in every place that's really warm, they hide inside of a, inside of a bucket of water, or a barrel of water, I should say. I'm sure things will start going your way someday. To help that day come, will you save your game now? Yeah. There's, like, an oversaturation of save points in this game, I noticed, but, yeah, maybe they, they meant for the person playing it to just play it for a couple minutes at a time, like on a subway ride or something. This is a dung beetle, isn't it? Yeah. Five? Facade is way stronger than you. That's like a new thing. Got yeah, some dung. What is dung do? Dung beetles can't help themselves from rolling this around. So maybe I can use it in battle against them. Oh. Right, yeah, I can run. Oh, salamander. Sand lizard suddenly attacked. Look at its tongue. It's kind of funny. Monkey tricks. Apologize. Apologize to, to stop it in its tracks. Make laugh. Perform various tricks to stop an, anim an enemy somewhat. Monkey mimic. Counter an enemy with its own attack. Dance. Perform various different dances for different results. Let's dance. Zero increase in strength. That's great. Lizard became tame. Cell says 10 XP. That was a lot more useful than fighting the dung beetle. But. Yeah. Oh wow. The back attack looks more like a dung beetle than the front attack. Oh, present. Nut bread. Oh no. Water. So there's cold, clean water here. Drink some. Yeah. Damn. Did I heal? I don't think I healed. Beef jerky. Let's kill this, uh, yeah, the salamander. Oh no. Facade is, like, way, way stronger than the monkey. Man, oh man. Thank <laughs> you. 
I guess this is it for this area. What a nice, diligent little dumb beetle that is. I don't have any dung to roll, so I'm not a true dung beetle. I'm so sad. If you ever happen to come across some dung, please bring it to me. I'll always be here, so please bring me some. I do have some. Everyone in Salsa's party gained 5 XP. Oh wow. This is actually a good way to farm XP, I guess. Because, yeah, each battle with the Salamander is 10 XP. But if you get a piece of dung from those other guys, then you get half of that for like half of the effort. Let's see. Yeah, your health does increase from the water there. Oh no. Alright, I should just move on. Oh no. That was just pitiful. my luxury banana. What an asshole. He's gonna eat it in front of me too. Wow. Looks like you only need half of it. Can I pick it up? No. Poor guy. No. Oh! I slipped over it. That's like a really awesome little detail they just added into the game. It's kind of cute. Oh, how did I get back attacked? I was facing him. Oh no. Oh no. If you get a status effect, you actually get attacked by your teammate. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Oh, what the hell is that? Great anti lion. Is this a boss? I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did. Okay, that wasn't even a boss. But I did gain a level, which is good. I'm not really sure if what ant what ant lions are, but they're in a lot of RPGs. If they're like based off of actual thing, like an actual creature. Bug spray. Ah. I'm fighting so many guys. It's like what I like doing in RPGs, just killing everything. It's probably kind of boring though. I think that's where I came from, isn't it? Actually wait, I came from the place that had the luxury banana. So no. What do you expect cow bones to talk or something? <laughs> By an NPC called Talking Bones. Well, you just kind of proved it. You proved and disproved yourself at the same time. I didn't get done that time.
I wonder if there's actually one of these enemies that is threatening, that can kill me. Well, it did do two damage. It's not, not a lot, but not, not bad. Aquarius bracelets. Shoot. He didn't take it from me, which is good. But I can't even equip anything. Are you kidding me? The side can't either. It's a dog. With a cactus on its head. <laughs> Listen, monkey, that's a cactus wolf. The meanest thing in the entire desert. But we can't get inside with him standing there. Go beat him up. Lose and I'll have an extra serving of punishment just ready for you. Are you gonna help me? A cactus wolf suddenly attacked. Alright, you better help me, Facade. Um... Can I mimic it? Oh boy. I'm gonna die, aren't I? This is where I die. Uh, just wait for my health to go up or else I might, I might bite the dust here. Alright, get him facade. Oh no, facade slipped on the banana peel. He kind of did that to himself. Biting attack. Wait for health. Wait for health. Okay, good. And... I'll use a bomb again. Oh, shoot. I might die from this. Thankfully, I didn't. Wait for health. Wow. Facade with a clutch. Get in, you. This is Earthbound music. No! Oh no. Do you have to fight him again? Please don't make me fight him again. Alright, facade, let's go back. This place kind of reminds me of a Mr. Saturn hut, just a little bit, but I can't exactly confirm that yet from that just yet. And it is giving us the Earthbound music. So this could be a Mr. Saturn meeting. And it did have the Mr. Saturn sort of like funky swirl lettering on the front of the door. Cockroach. Alright. It's violent. Violent cockroach. Let's do this on myself, as to not die. Oh no, don't! Eat it, eat it! Alright, good. Please heal the full. Okay, he's good. Sixty health. Underground map. These roaches really aren't that responsive. You can easily sneak up on them. Cool. 
I win again. Ooh, e -ah, ooh. It's the revitalization device from Earthbound. It looks exactly like the same model too, just a little bit bigger. Hey stupid monkey, look here. This is a high-tech vehicle known as a pork bean. <laughs> We're going to take it to an unbelievably uncivilized village called Tazmillan. It had taken an incredibly long time to get there on foot, but with this pork bean we'll get there in the blink of a nuihin. You get all that? Yeah. Use that ladder to get down there. Let me save it first. Save it. Careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Will do. It's also open the present. Got an ancient banana, not a luxury banana. <laughs> Does that mean it's like rotten or something? This is a wonderful device called an instant revitalization machine. In only a few seconds, it'll fully revitalize you. Just like a good night's sleep. Under normal circumstances, it'd be wasted on a stupid monkey like you. But I'll give you special permission to use it for now. Let's also open the present and got beef jerky. You're fully revitalized. Okay. No problem. Hey, don't get in, you stupid monkey. Alright, listen up. When you, when you want to stop the pork bean while it's moving, press the B button. While it's stopped, press B button again to get out. You get all that? Yeah. And get in. This is actually pretty pretty badass. Is that yeah? It's like a full kill if you run over that that stuff, but you, but you don't actually get XP for it. What are these? Some type of high tech vehicle. This is one of Pig's vehicles. It's probably best not to touch it. This is one of Pig's vehicles. My oh, best subject. Okay. I get the point. Open the present. Got an upgrade. Check bandana. Banana? Check bandana. Banana. Bandana. I can't actually equip anything on this guy though. It's all blanked out. Save frog. Is there a way to get past here and do anything? Probably not. What's out here? <gasps> aye, aye, aye. I just want to fight one of them to see what it's like. What? They just kind of like retract and don't do anything. Alright, uh, Mercury Mac. That was good. I got a decent amount of XP too. So if you just go up to them, they're gonna gonna be pretty susceptible to just about anything. And up we go. What is this? Are these... what are these? Please refrain from throwing running bombs while indoors. It makes things all smoky.
Too bad. I'm doing it anyway. Facade is just using the monkey as like a living shield. Poor guy. Oh no. Wow. It keeps dividing. I have to somehow hit all of them. Um. Fast acting pesticides damages insects, but it's not going to do anything to these. Causes an enemy to slip and fall, inflicting damage. Um, yeah. Damn, I need to heal myself. Wait for HP, or I'll fall in battle. Oh, facade, attack the right guy, please. Man, this sucks. Too many divides. I kind of got owned there. Mosquito charm. I can't even equip anything with this guy, so all the stuff that I'm getting is probably just gonna get it, get wasted in the end, so. I have no idea why they're giving it to me. Not bread. Oh wow, so this is the graveyard, huh? To the south of the cemetery is a village of Tasmillion. There's a place there called Yaddo Inn, where we can stay the night. That's where we're headed now. I want to go back down. There's stuff there that I want to see still. Um, like this present here. Bug spray. Is this gonna do like really, really good damage to this thing? Let's see. Bug spray. Whoa. Okay, that's really good against insects. Keep that in mind. All right. Oh, zombies. Oh, zombies. Alright, so we gotta go to... We've got to go to Yaddo Inn. Save it first. I feel like 50% of my time is just saving. You save every two minutes. Duster! <laughs> Oh, this is just a recap, but from the perspective of Facade and the monkey. I'm sorry, but we're in a terrible hurry. If you'll excuse us... Come now, little monkey, we should be off. Aw, oh, poor guy. And I've seen this part already. Uh, this guy, like, the village doesn't even know what money is. It's their first exposure to it. Traveler gave it to me in exchange for some pigs. Yeah, he took a really liking to pigs, and then asked me, in tears, if I'd trade them for the money. 
It did seem pretty strange to me at first, but I decided to trust the guy. He's definitely a friend worth having. Anyways, he gave it to me, which means it's mine, right? I don't want any ignorant people taking off with it, so I'm gonna hide it in this well, here. Oh wow, you can see Facade off camera just listening, so he's the one that took it. Duster, this is a secret just between me and you. Wow, what a scumbag. <laughs> But people do that in real life. They see like a $5 bill on the ground, they're like, fair game, I'll take it. But you put it back. What about- what? Okay. Where do I go then? Do I follow the pigs? Follow the pig boy? Ah! Oh yeah, Yaddo Inn. I've got to go to Yaddo Inn. What am I doing? This is Taz Millie Village. Everyone is nice. The music here is really chill. I like it. This village is much more carefree until just recently. Is it now? How much money is the lodging fee, my man? Uh, fee? There is no how much here. Please feel free to stay the night. Oh, I see. Still, it's hardly a cumbersome thing to have. Oh, wow. This is kind of strange. It's like sort of making a point of like, how money can get in the way of people's, like, peace and sense of community, because it's like, you add the money factor into it, and then it's like, people only care about, like, money and, like, the greed factor and, like, how much they're getting paid to offer their services to others, instead of just, like, doing it, like, out of the kindness of their heart, you know? And, uh, yeah. I feel like that's sort of like social commentary to what's happening now with like the virus because like no one's allowed to go out and like really spend their money and the government's just handing it out. So like what's the point of like going out and having like nice things and, and all of the incentives that people like, they push on you like to always look good in public, dress in the nicest clothes, uh, all this stuff that you need money to trade for. Like, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's life is kind of dependent on distancing and, and the support of others through other means, you know? I guess it's okay then. I'll kindly accept your offer. I suppose it could make a good doctor doorstop. <laughs> your room is the one in the middle. Please make yourself at home and have pleasant dreams. Thank you so much. And I guess it's kind of like, it's a game that like the really rich can play because they're the ones who control most of it. And they make all the people down on the bottom that don't, can't really have the same things, just like fight for it, like viciously and stuff like that. The big world political marketing funnel. Oh boy. My headphones keep on, uh... I gotta fix the, the ones that are my actual good headphones, because they broke, and I'm just using this, like, backup headset. And the connector is, like, it goes into one of the old-school analog gold-plated things. Um... But it's, like, a converter, so it, like, converts, like, a regular one to a bigger one, and then goes into... Uh, what do you call it? My amplifier, what do you call it? Whatever it's called. But it keeps slipping out because I'm knocking the wire around. I should probably have better wire control. 
Come little salsa. Where's your thank you? Zap. Thank you. What is it? Backflip or? Ah. Okay. Thank you must be down because it's bowing. Oh my. What was that? Oh, it's nothing. I'm sure he's merely tired after a long trip. Well then, if you excuse us, let's go to our room, shall we? What a liar. Oh my god. Scumbag. This is Taz Millie Village. Everyone's nice. Hey there, monkey. Do you have a... Do you not have a girlfriend? I've been asked that by, like, a lot of people. When I was pretty young. Oh, good evening. Oh, good evening. Ah! I just tried to go in the door. Did my HP go down? No. Don't forget to use the bathroom before hitting the hay. Oh, and be sure to brush your teeth, too. My mom used to say that kind of stuff to me. Ah. You're going to work... You're going to work hard for me, starting tomorrow. Now go to sleep. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Pitter patter. You only hear it when you're running. It's kind of funny. It's like somebody tapping their finger on a desk. arrived at a showy castle. Good. Wait until dawn, then storm the place. Everything's progressing smoothly here. Oh, so he's like one of the leaders of the pig troopers. You saw someone else hanging around the castle. That's it? You only saw him? Then leave... Uh, then leave him be. He's probably just some villager who got drunk and got himself lost. He walks with a limp. I think I might have seen him myself. He's got brown hair, a gloomy feel, slightly bad breath, and kind of looks like a bum. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about him. Uh, yeah, okay. I leave it in your hands. Stay alert. Wow, Facade did take the money. What a jackass. This hasn't been used. Yeah, it's because it's a small town. Everyone's really close knit. No need for mail. It's pretty late. It's best not bother them. At least the monkey has a conscience. Not like Facade. Zappo? Did you think you could just run away from me? That's why you're such a stupid monkey. Don't make me say it anymore. Go back to the room and sleep. Don't bother me anymore. What's with that look? Laugh. No, no! But you know, if you're gonna run away, I'm sure that, I'm, I'm sure there were some more intelligent ways you could have done it. 
like trying to disguise herself or trying to walk without making any sound. But I guess monkeys aren't intelligent enough to think for things like that. How long are you going to sleep, you stupid monkey? Listen, just keep doing your tricks all happy like. Prance around all nice and funny to keep to help charm the villagers. Do a good job and I'll set you free. I'll even take you back to the girly monkey. But if you bore the audience, you'll get an extra heaping of punishment. Got that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Thank you. Have you eaten? Um, not what you have. <laughs> I wonder what today's weather will be like. I don't know. Me neither. This village has much more carefree. Was much more carefree until just recently. Hi there. Hi there, I'm Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Man, I wish I could just walk down the street holding this big lumber. I could practice my squat form. Just have it like behind my back like that. Just get a good back stretch now. Somebody's calling me. What is that? Yeah, do they email it? Um. Okay. I still have the sore throat and like sore sinuses and. I felt, I w was walking around today, I felt kind of weak, and like my leg muscles kind of hurt. Um, I work in like commercial office buildings, I'm like the on-site superintendent, so I have to be there, I like check the fire safety systems and like the, the boilers and chillers every day. And like building energy efficiency and stuff like that. So.
Okay. Do you know how many days? Okay. Awesome. I'll I'll do that then. Uh Nari no. No. Did it find anything else? Okay. Alright, I'll yeah, I'll just uh, take a few days and then see if I'm feeling better. Cool. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Bye. Come gather around, one and all, fair denizens of Tasmillion. Congratulations are in order for the hard work you put in every single day. I've come here today to give you all wonderful news about happiness. Blue skies, white clouds. So he's like a politician. And he's like, he's giving people money to sort of confuse them, make them greedy, and sort of... It's already causing, like, like, what do you call it? Um, dissension within the town because the one guy's money got stolen. He's like, thief, blah, 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 blah. Blue skies, white clouds, bountiful crops, stout livestock, happy families, and kind-hearted neighbors. This village is filled with so many wondrous things. But there's still something missing. A tiny speck of uncertainty, uncertainty that steals into each bright day. Is this really how things should be? Shouldn't we be living with much more comfortable, enjoyable lives? It's only natural to harbor a few such suspicions. Odd animals that have never been seen before now lurking on forests, and a giant balloon-like and giant balloon-like objects soar our skies. What's going on? What's happening to the world we live in? And that's all now, and that's not all. Not by a long shot. The word on the wind says that says that in a very. Uh, God damn it! I keep getting phoned. I should mute my mic. Last time I didn't.
Word on the wind says that in a very near future, lightning powerful enough to burn down forests and wood will rain down on us almost daily. Now, oh, you laughed at that, didn't you? You thought to yourself, get real? Something like that would never happen? But I truly believe this will soon be a reality. And in times like this, isn't it human nature to want to be happy? To live with a smile on your face? But I have good news for you. Today's your lucky day. Up backflip. You can obtain happiness very easily. All right. Just look here. Even my cute, adorable sauce size dancing so happily. The reason for this, will she? Is that this monkey's gotten a head start on obtaining happiness? Oh, people are leaving already. How exactly did little salsa here manage to find happiness? All those interested, please raise your hand boisterously. Who wants to be happy? Okay, little salsa. Go ask the nice people who want happiness for their names. Please keep your hands raised, folks. Happiness, huh? I'll admit I'm a little curious. I don't need happiness. Stand right next to me. All I need is sweet. I'm Isaac. I just want to see if it really is easy to be happy. Happiness leaves when wanted. My name's Abby. I've been an avid collector of things ever since I was a boy. It's hard to explain, but just care like and stuff. It somehow makes me happy. Plus, I'd like to see what happiness looks like, too. I'm Abby. I respect my husband, Abby. And nothing bad about having too much happiness ain't there. I'm beef. I'm not really what it's all about, but if I can get something out of it, I'll give it a shot. I think I talked to everybody to hand up on this. There's somebody out here way far from the group, man. There you are. If even just for more even just one more of us can achieve happiness all would be right in the world for those of you who didn't raise your hand please think it over later think it over later please and if you decide that you do want happiness after all feel free to let me know anytime well, that's all for today's show. May happiness come to the village. He's just gonna keep on shocking me, ain't he? Can I make him leave if I keep on failing? Take care. Now then, come along, little saucer. Let us return to Yado Wan. Yay, it's me. What is it? Did you find it? What? There are other people inside the castle. Why can't you just kick them out? What, you can't? Because they're too tough? Alright. I'll be over once I'm through here. Until then, make sure you find it. Oh, 
All right, monkey, listen up. The happy boxes are hidden inside the cemetery. Go deliver them to everyone whose names you took earlier. Abbott, Abby, Bill, Isaac, those four people. Where do they live? How should I now go find them yourself? And when you're finished delivering them, don't even think about trying to run away. You come straight back to this room. If you can't do it in under 23 minutes or so, your punishment will be even more severe. You'll be much more than charred if that happens. If you try to run from me or disobey me, I'll make sure to punish that girly monkey too. Got it? Yeah. Then get to it already. If you can't finish the delivery in under 22 minutes, I'll give you a banana or something like that. I'm making this off from the kindness of my heart. Because I just feel so terrible that you're not allowed to eat or drink anything. Even though I'm the one doing that. So, whatever. So be grateful. <laughs> Okay, dude. <laughs> Go show a trick to Mac in Thomas's house. He likes to do cookies. Blah, 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 blah. What am I supposed to do anyways? Oh, shoot. I did a backflip. Cool. I can dance for nut bread. Maps and where you at? Maps and maps and I need a map. Where do I go? I wasn't even listening to what I was reading, and it's really hot in my room, so I can't even think. I should go to Home Depot and buy like a one of those AC things. Freaking hot in here, dude. Actually, wait, did he send me to the castle or something? I have a special scary story. Want to hear it? Yeah. The truth is, for a long time, I've been taking nuts I find in the forest and hiding them in this house. But when I went and checked on them earlier today, they had all been made into bread. Huh? You don't seem very scared. It's what people do, man. They turn natural things into unnatural things. And that's kind of like the theme of this whole game, ain't it? Keep up the good work, my monkey. Thank you. It's wet, or a scamp. I've never seen this guy before. You're troubled, aren't you? You may find yourself in painful situations, but I'm a bit pain myself. Mud or mumble. He looks in poor shape. Hello, Mr. Monk. I'm sorry, but I don't understand any monkey language. I don't understand monkey language, man. I'm alive, I'm plenty alive, Dagnab. What's this? A painting, a picture. Who's that? Beth, huh? So where is this so called happiness I ordered? Happiness is a self construct, my friend. You gotta find it within yourself. You keep searching outside for happiness, you'll be searching a long time, my friend. What do you want, you little filthy monkey? Shoo, get out of here. I will. 
Look at these pigs singing monkey. You know the secret about Mother 3? Because I do. I'm not telling though. Damn it. You pig. Can I, can you, can you run fast? I'm slow. That's too bad, man. Have you put on weight lately? I'm on a diet. You look like you're on a diet. I'm not really sure where to go, except if I have to go up here to Oshoe Castle. What's up, guy? I want to talk to a monkey. If you need something from the map love and map own and maps, it must be a map, yeah? Oh, you're a, you're, you're a monkey, but you have a map. For some reason, I'm itching to, to mark it. Let me, let me see that for a second. Your maps were marked. Uh, damn. Three places. Center town, bottom house, and forest house. Let's go to the forest sanctuary first. Man, oh god. Leave me alone. Where's this thing I ordered? Come on, bring it out here already. Can I... Do I have anything in my... My thing? Uh... Shoot. I don't. I don't. I don't have it. That was kind of useless. I don't have to go up there. But I have to go to Midtown. I have to go... I thought I talked to Biff, and he didn't... He didn't actually want anything. He was just talking about happiness. Huh. So apparently there's somebody here that I gotta talk to. I know that you're unhappy. I also know that Isaac's house is at the entrance to the forest. I already talked to Isaac, man. Oh, you're that monkey that that's famous for being happy. Maybe I should have ordered a happy box too. You stink like a monkey. I do stink like a monkey. Oh, you poor thing. You have to wear such a tight collar. Um, oh, what a cute little monkey. Dance a dance. Dance a dance a pants. Well, what a neat dance. In appreciation for that neat dance, I'll give you some bread. Dude. TikTok. TikTok in Mother 3. She just gave me a like in the form of bread. What? She, well, what? Monk. 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 Monk.
I don't need happiness, it's already right by my side. It's in her happy pocket. I really enjoyed that dance years earlier, but that man's speech was kinda creepy, man. I agree. Is my happy box ready yet? I'm really looking forward to it. You better bring it to me. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Monkey. Oh, you're not here on the delivery, are you? No. Why exactly is there a monkey in my home? You're an eyesore, could you please go away? Get, get. Screw you, dude. Oh my. I do say what a filthy monkey. Shoo, shoo. Off with you. Off with you. Woo. So busy, so busy. You know, monkey, can't you see I'm busy? Well, yeah. Kind of. I have nothing to give you. Oh. I can get something just for being a monkey? On Twitch? I can... I can be, get something for just being a monkey? Is this Tasmili Village? Everyone's nice. My happiness is inside a bottle at Jackie's Bar. Well, that's kind of depressing, my friend. What's your name? Bob. Happiness is inside a bottle. Man. Cheers. Hi there. Hi there. Whoa, Lumberman. Sometimes you look at people with such sad eyes, monkey. Bud. Oh, a monkey. Eek. Act. Stay back. Stay away from me, monkey. Oh, what a cute little monkey you are. Could, it, could you be a good boy there and leave the room? It's real crowding in here, man. All right, fine. It's facade. What, what's happening, man? Abby, Abby, Biff, Isaac, four people. Where do I live? How should I know? Go find them yourself. The boxes are in the cemetery. Go deliver them already. Oh, so I gotta go to the cemetery to get the boxes and then deliver them. So, I just wasted a bunch of time, didn't I? Oh, man. So, step one, go to the cem cemetery, get the boxes. Step two, take them to the people. Got it. Monkey blue collar. I'm a blue collar monkey. Ain't that right? Blue collar monkey. Blue collar monkey delivering boxes all day. Working on the dime of the big man. Taking my luxury banana, giving me an ancient banana. Oh, so these are the ones. One at a time? I got a happy box. That wasn't a happy notification. Oh man. Can I pick up more than one? Oh my god. But I can't. I also can't run. Alright. So let's. Let's give them. Give them to the people. Happiness in a box, my friend. Look at that little monkey butt. 
Time for box delivery number two, my friend. Here we go. Yeah, I'll go south this time. To the southeast I go, my friend. When I get there, who knows what'll happen. Stay tuned to find out. Stay tuned to find out what happens when I go southeast, my friend. Do not touch that dial. Do not touch that dial. I'm delivering monkey boxes of happiness right now. Oh, thanks a bunch. Now I can be happy too. For some reason, I actually do feel happy. Man, I'm proud of you, man. Thanks for getting happy for me. I wonder if I'll get attacked by zombies in here. Man, this box is real heavy, but I'm just happy to be delivering them for my one shill in a box. Well, my boss gets the big portion of of the sale. I get my one shill. Wow, this thing is tough. Oh no, this is not good. Damn it. Um, Wow, no. I'm dead. I'm dead. Monkey dead. Monkey down. Monkey down. Monkey down. Monkey down. Emergency. Emergency. Monkey down. Oh boy. Facade saw me get hurt. I hope he doesn't shock me. Am I going the right way? Crap, I'm not. I gotta backtrack all the way back on that back jack. Slap jack. Flap jack. Map Jack, Black Jack, Black Map Jack, Jack Black. All right. Now we're making some progress right here, right now. South Central, big box on my head with a heart on it. We're gonna go give it to somebody. 99.3.0.041.091. Radio, let's get let's get going, baby. Here we go, delivering boxes all day. On the on your favorite radio station, 
96.99 boy dingers it to five hundred thousand big boxes all day long. Your favorite boxes all day. Favorite boxes, name it. We have the yellow box, the green box, the red box, the box. Classic boxes, contemporary boxes, real boxes all day. All right, we gave the box to Happy Back Dad to get bit. Alex, as it. You finished delivering happy boxes to everyone who wanted one. Got it. Got it. Oh, this is the happy box. It looks like a TV, my friend. You're not really sure what to make of it. It's pink and it's happy looking. It looks like it's fun, pink, welcome. Oh no. Oh god. Why did I have to do this? Uh. I'm just gonna run. These praying mantises, man. Man, these praying mantises are kind of tough, you know. But I'll copy them and see what's happening. It's just holding up its stuff like it's threatened. Oh no. I got him. I won, my friend. We just beat the mantis. All your favorite boxes all day long here on 99.9.9 .9 Box FM. All boxes, classic boxes, contemporary boxes, boxes of Big boxes, small boxes, every box you can imagine. Um. Yeah. Here we go. Facade. Facade. I'm back. I'm back to save the game. And also get shocked because it took me probably more than 23 minutes to do all that stuff. All right, 25 minutes, really? So, I was planning to give you a special banana. You had, if you had delivered them all in under three minutes. This sounds like work. It's like what your boss at work does to you. He takes like the majority of whatever is being made and only gives you a piece and gives you a bonus if you can dance like a monkey. And like, finish your projects fast enough. But I guess you don't really want one. You insolent little monkey. <laughs> Zap. Hey you, how long are you gonna stay unconscious, stupid monk? Alright, let's hurry to Sohai Castle, then. Fine. I'm leading the party too, you little... You call me a monkey? You're the monkey, you big fat monkey. A Sohei Castle is north. I remember these things, cause I remember these things. A Sohei Castle is north, ma'am. Don't you make me mad and upset. I know it's north. I know a Sohei Castle's north. More north than you'll ever be, man. To know who you are, but you'd best be careful if you're going inside the castle. Some guys dressed up like pigs went in and are up to no good. Thank you. Oh boy. The pig men, they're down on their luck. What's going on? 
Did you find it? What, you still haven't found it? Just who are these other intruders, man? An old man and a guy with a gloomy fell up. What about him? Wait, you mean him? The guy with the brown hair? The gloomy fell a slightly bad break and look at boy? So where are they now? Tell them, where, where are they? Where's the boom? What? They're headed for the top floor? Oh, man. Oh. Whatever you do, don't let them get there first. All right. Now we can move along with our quest. Top floor means I went this way and then they went left, I think. And then up the stairs and then past all the broken suits of armor. And then we go up here and then down the hatch to the right. Or up the hatch to the right. Oh no. Cross the monkey whip. Huh? Oh, damn. Well, I thought, yeah, that's the, the other way that I got down before. So, how do I get there this time? Move. Hey. There's some sassy ghosts here really holding the lively party. We use the power of science to stick them all back in that room for now. Good for you, man. We're currently using every resource available to us to locate it, but it still hasn't turned up. Hold on, Pip Squee Monk. I'm not talking to you. That bum looking guy and his cohort headed upstairs after they beat the snot out of us. Only now do I realize that these are truly a force to be reckoned with. Oh man. Oh boy. What's happening here? First the bum looking man, now a monkey. First the bum looking man, now a monkey. I found a new interest in the power of science. Never mind that. I'm a ghost. Even if it's to a monkey, I'll say it anyway. Here's my secret hint gift boxes with blue ribbons. Had great things in the maps. It'd be useful to remember that. Well, thank you. There's one right here. Salsa got the present. Got a so hay sketch. Let's see. Um. Damn. To go up. To go down. Man, I don't know how to read that. Screw you. Do you remember the number of ghosts in here? Memorizing things is a great form of brain training. Yep. Maybe that's going to come in handy in the future if I know how many ghosts are inside this room. But I don't. I don't want to know. Oh, it's me. I'm so, I'm so thirsty, man. Well, I'm thirsty too, but I got to play a game here so I can't take a drink. Oh, a real live monkey. Is a person behind you one of those spirits that follow you where you go? Nope. Just enough to be burnt is good. Rare is good too. Just before rot, rotten is the best. Well, I wouldn't say that myself, but go right ahead. I'm a piano playing ghost. I'm absolutely tone deaf without a piano, so I've decided to stop singing. Where'd you rent your monkey suit? Did you know I'm wearing a suit, though? So you're not a real ghost, you're just pretending. Well, I suppose that'd be kind of cool. Get in with the ghost community, pretend to be a ghost? I can't actually... Jeez, it's not letting me go back. Stop, monkey. Please don't run in here, it's cramped. So a Cassie's small. Where could you be going in such a hurry? Well, I can't get past you, man. Oh, boy. Okay. Finally. Um, 
If I go here, it's up, but it's blocked. If I go there, it's down. What? But it's... Okay, yeah. Yeah? What? They fled into the basement? They have it with them? Alright, got it. Monkey, we're headed to the basement now. There should be an entrance to the basement somewhere inside the castle. Go find it. Fine, man. Um... Jeez. This place is like Karazan, man. What's this? Torn up painting was lying on the ground. Well. I'll be. Yeah. I haven't gone down here yet. Oh boy. Let's go heal up in the spring. I can't remember exactly how to... Yeah, why did you do that to me, man? I'm just like a friendly old blue-collar monkey here, man. Blue-collar monkey. Why well, you gotta be so... So hateful against monkeys, man. Oh, boy. Robots. It's AI taking over. I swear to God, it's AI taking over, man. Here we go with that AI taking over. We're going down the monkey hook trap. I'm gonna beat some booties up, big bros. We got ourselves a nut cookie. We're gonna fight me a barrel. Um, damn, man. How about I dance for it? Oh no. Those barrels are kind of tough. These other guys aren't like bad though. I can take them. I'm getting nut cookies all day, baby. He snuck up on Big Bro from behind. Alright. These Big Bros are pretty easy, man. I could fight them all day. Oh, there's another one down here. There it is. Oh no, fire. But it, it didn't damn work there. It mustn't have enough MP to actually cast fire on me. Poor guy. Alright, we go through here. Hey, stupid monkey, do something to open it. Uh, up. No. Damn. How do I do it then? I followed that sketch, man. I pressed up. No? I don't understand what's happening, man. Oh, okay, I get it. So, the laugh is down. No? Oh, damn it. I'm not doing this right, am I? 
So I press right. You sure do you sure you're doing the right dance? Oh wow. That's all I had to do is just talk to the talk to the pictures. Uh up. Oh. No. Wait. So I can use dance. I can't. All right. So is it down? No. Right. Okay. Now it's doing it right. Do I have to get another prompt? Wow, I did it. Well, ain't that something, Fran? Well done. All right, here's your reward. Zap, what? What kind of reward is that? Come on, let's get going. Swamp. Whoa, man. Looks like somebody met met their end in this tunnel here. Ghost frog. <laughs> Some dead frogs in this sewer, boy. Careful now. Oh wow, this is a new tunnel. I get in all these items that I can't actually use. That's one happy looking skeleton too, man. It looked like he was about to do a dance. He looks like he's gonna dance right now too. Uh, let's dance with him. Turns around. Damn. Okay. Let's do another dance with him. Oh no! Oh boy. We got him. Got him. We got him, everyone. Oh. Well, doesn't that just look like me right now? Little big bro attacks. Oh boy. Um, I might need to heal here because this is kind of tough. Oh no. Don't hit me for lots. Um, jeez. Bug, nut, nut spray? I just use nut spray? Wow. What? Am I... Am I dead? Oh my god. That was like a trade-off, man. I killed him, but he killed me. It was like a... A Texas showdown. Ten step shoot. We both got each other the same bullet, same time. Cherry skeleton blocked the way. Cheery skeleton, not cherry. Um, dance. He's dancing with me now. You can dance. What a coincidence. You can dance. What a coincidence, man. 
I never heard that one before. Oh god, I almost got with a bad encounter there. A little bro suddenly attacked. Uh, can I make him laugh? Oh god, he doesn't look like the happy cheery type. Alright, this is good. Oh no. Oh! Scary face. Um, make him laugh again. Alright. Good. So his weakness is laughing. You just gotta make him laugh and then you win. Opened and got some beef jerky. Can I talk to these bones on the ground? I can't talk to them bones on the ground. Oh boy, that that's a bone on the ground. If I ever seen one, it's locked from the other side. This this dungeon reminds me of Dark Souls. Oh god, I can't carry no more. All right, uh, my HP is about it's about maximum right now. Yeah. But I'll take it because it's better than what I'm carrying. And what's in Tarnations over here? Alright. Uh, his weakness is dancing, I think. Alright, turned around. Can I, can I do this? Make him laugh? Yeah, I can. So he's backwards and he's laughing. Good. What are these ancient bananas and things for? Can I actually use that? No. I'll just eat a nut cookie and take that banana. That was a close one. I almost died there. A little big bro suddenly attacked. So, let's make him laugh. No. Oh no. Now he's laughing. And we can dance. Good. We got him. I saw his big scary butt and we kicked it right to hell. And throw that dung away. And get some beef jerky, man. I love that country made beef jerky. Best in the city. Best in the country. Best in the town. Best in the wilderness. What's this lever for? Hey, pull that lever, man. Okay. Oh wow. Now that's where we left off with our actual party. They escape with the item? After them, man. Get them. Get them. Go after them right now. No. Wait. They're inside. Corner them. It's what I said to do. Contact me the instant you find them. Blech. There's not a single useful person here. That's why my most trusted friends among them. Let's return to Yado Inn for now. Alright, monkey. Let's go. Can I go inside here? No. I like... I played this game before, but I don't even remember half of it. I thought it was a good game when I played it, though. So I'm playing it again. Playing it again, fresh set of eyes, 
doing some cool things, getting some good items, being a monkey, being a kid, being a facade, being everything I can be for my country. Those are some pigmen right there. One of you two get out of my way. Hey, you heard Mr. Mr. Facade fall back. He was looking at you when he said it. You fall back. Shut up. I don't give a damn about any of that. Both of you get out of my way now. Just look how late it is right now. You're stupid. This is all your fault, idiot. He was looking at you when he said that. You're the idiot. You idiot. I know you are, but what am I? You idiot. Both you idiots go find him now. We're on the way to... None idiot hood, my friend. It's locked. Just a monkey's luck, my friend. I kind of think these the monkey battles so far have been the easiest ones. So, your enemy's kind of strong. Besides, I bet, I bet you the one who let Duster get away in the first place. I've done no such thing, nor would I have to have any need to. My goodness, I simply can't believe that someone would steal the money I so humbly gave you. Perhaps it's true then. Perhaps this village really is starting to become cursed. We can't allow the Tasmili village to become a dismal hive for evildoers to run amok. We must all seek happiness, or this village will be in grave danger. Oh, what's that? Are you fond of the nice lady there? Come now. I'll give you lots and lots of luxury bananas later. So let's return to the Yadalene. Okay, little Zozo? Zap. Zap. Hey, stupid monkey. It seems you still don't understand the situation you're in. If you ever disobey me or try anything, any fuzzness, funny business, in the slightest, I'll make sure your beloved girly monkey winds up in some serious trouble. Remember that. Now go to sleep. Address point zero point zero eight six one eight six point port two zero two four nine. Damn it, man. Kumatora. Hey, hey, monkey. Hey, monkey. How'd I hear that Kumatora? I don't see no Kumatora down here. Where are you? Where are Kumatora at, boy? Oh, damn it. He must have slid on the remote when he turned over. Damn, I got zapped. All right. All right, time for some monkey business. 
Time for some serious monkey bit. Oh boy, he just turned over again. Is that gonna keep on happening? Oh no. Where's Kumatora? If I can't go outside the door, I'm gonna climb up this dress dresser in the window. Okay. Hey monkey, we're here to rescue you. That cheap bastard to sleep. Hurry here. Damn. If I can just do that in the first place, why won't it let me do that? Man, I gotta take a drink of some water and get get me something to eat. Cause I'm kind of hungry, man. That healthy brown water. You get it from the pond in the back. All right. Now I gotta get me something to eat. I'll be one minute, but I'll still probably be on camera. If y'all guys have questions, feel free to ask them in chat. I'll try to answer them my best boot. Alright, see you soon. guys sorrow's gone for an hour but i'm back i'm here playing uh, mother three for your viewing pleasure i just got myself a little thing you can see it there i'm not sponsored yet i'm sorry if you guys were interested in asking me but i'm not i'm not sponsored yet The West thinks I'm safe now. Kumator. To know how you got involved with that last spewing fraud. But you must have had your reasons, I guess. Poor little thing. Princess. This is a great deed that you done. Now let's go find that lazy moron. I mean Duster, and that egg he has with him. I know he's raw, right? Morons like him never get sick or hurt. No matter what they go, no matter where they go, what they do. That's one kind of insensitive statement there you got there going, man. I think this old man Wes is some kind of sociopath, man. Yeah. We just gotta find Duster in the egg. But first, let's free this monkey. Geezer, go steal that zapper gizmo while that lion freak's still asleep. Alright. I should have swapped it earlier. I'll be right back. You'll be free in a minute, monkey. You must have had it rough. Oh, man. Hey monkey. I stole the do heck you. I accidentally bumped it on the way back. Did it zap you?
Oh man. Here, monkey. You destroy it. Wow. He shocked himself in the process. Alright, monkey. You can go wherever you want now. You're free. Got something keeping you from running away? What is it? Oh, your girlfriend's been kidnapped. Or monkey napped, I should say. Damn that cheap bastard. He screwed up. Oh, did you call for me? Happened to be that screwed up cheap bastard you speak of. To think I get to meet you here, of all places, Princess Kumator. Mm -hmm. You stupid monkey. You think you could get away from me? He can. And we're gonna let him. Gazer monkey, you ready? One, two, three. Is when we run. Got it? She's done for. Oh man. Kumator is done for. I'll see you then I'll remain on standby here. I'll be there shortly. Yeah. There's no escape for me. Let's escape into the forest. I thought monkeys live in the jungle, not the forest. Actually, now that I think about it, what would happen if you brought a monkey out here into the forest instead of the jungle and just like let him, let him free in like the Rocky Mountains and a big pack of monkeys? Would be the, would, would they be climbing those evergreen trees, pine trees, and just like trying to find bananas up there? I wonder if those brilliant scientists ever tried to put let a bunch of monkeys loose in the Rocky Mountains. Then you'd see some monkey versus a uh, monkey versus wolf battles, or maybe the monkeys might tame the wolves. Monkeys versus bears, man. Five monkeys attacking in a, a grizzly bear, dude. Can you see that? I'd pay to see that. Yeah, I don't know where to go, man. If I go south, I'll get captured. Probably go in the woods. The monkey's a leader. Monkey versus a pig. Hmm. 
West is kind of useless. When do I actually get the the main character, the blonde kid? Whip things. some weird drones man in the woods how about a monkey mimic and a sci thunder is he gonna make someone come yeah he did um we can do the laugh thing and then There's no escargo express in this game to store my items at. <clears throat> well, there's like a serious lack of enemies in this area so far, but I bet near the end there's going to be at least one of them. Not bread. Uh, not bad, but not good. I'm trapped here, dude. So where do I go? Do I have to fight this tank here? make this thing dance or what oh boy oh no kumator is dead unless i do something good oh boy she's dead uh yeah i don't know how to get kumator back Yeah, I might just be screwed right now. Um. Kumatora. Oh boy. Let's uh, just keep doing Monkey Mimic. This is pretty futile, I must admit. Uh, Duster's Thought sucks. Um, Monkey Mimic. Oh boy. And I gotta heal myself before I go.
get into critical HP territory. Oh man, I might not even make it out of this battle. I gotta wait for my health to go up. Alright, good. And let's try to get full health, and I, I can do a monkey minute afterwards. Thunderbomb. Oh man. Okay. Uh, let's try to do another one. Oh boy. I gotta do anything on the sub. Oh god. Why is this monkey so useless, man? It's just like... Some stupid blue-collar monkey. Like, gave him party lead. Like, gave him... Items. Like, gave him... A blue collar. He doesn't do anything. Can't even do any damage. Has no useful points or skills. I think I've got to level up here. I wonder what Kumatora can use for weapons. Actually, no. I, can't, I don't even think I can go back to the town to look for something. There's no response to shouting. That doesn't leave us with many options. Okay. Um. I guess I just have to get stronger somehow. Maybe win a few more battles. Whatever it takes, I have to kill this boss. Oh no. That's bad news, man. Man, I just can't, I can't beat him with regular attacks. He snuck up on the re recon mech from behind. Monkey man, pure dance. Let's dance for him. And then we can do PK Thunder. At least my monkey's getting a bit stronger. Okay, Thunder.
All right. So, yeah. I'm not really sure the best way of dealing with this guy. I'll try Mimic, and I'll try Freeze. Thunder seems to be pretty, pretty good. Oh no, I'm crying. It means my, whatchamacallit's, my accuracy's down. Thunder seems to be the way to go right now. Actually, I should probably just use Beef Jerky on Kumator and then just use Thunder again. Oh man, just wait for my health to go back up. Good. And now, Monkey Mimic. Actually, wait, that's a bad choice. I can do some pork chips on myself. kind of did that the reverse way that would have been made sense, you know? And I'm just gonna try doing that again. I swear to God, he's got num. He doesn't have very much left in the tank. He's gonna be out in the bout. He's gonna be out of it pretty soon. Um, I. Why can't this guy be more useful? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Oh wow! It's is that it? Yeah. Oh no, there's still somebody up there in the top. Oh god, no. It's jammed. Okay. Um. Let's make him laugh. And let's PK Thunder. He just threw a cannonball at me. That's not fair. Um, wow, is it? Oh, God, Salsa's dead. Um, I hope he's gonna die soon. Oh man, I'm out of, I'm out of mana. Oh boy. Pencil rocket, let's try that. Finally, I got him. We got him, boys. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. Blind. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Oh boy, here's the man 
He's gonna he's gonna screw all them up. He's probably got Psy Starstorm, Psy Bide boogers all over the face. Stupid kid, get out of here. Get go on, get There's dragons come with us too. Is a big dragon coming through? Oh man. Is it the me mechanized dragon? No, it's a regular dragon. Damn. He, he made quick work of them. Just bit that guy in half. This is looking bad for Mr. Facade right now. Is it gonna crush on that tank too? Feeling better now, monkey? Yeah, we got him. Facade's over and done. Dragon butt. <laughs> Is this small dragon riding the big one? Whoa. That's really cool. That's really cool. I just stomped on the tank. Whammo. Lucas, I heard that you've done nothing but cry since the day your mother passed away. But what you did just now was wonderful. You saved our lives. Thank you, Lucas. Oh, right. You gotta say hi. Hi, nice to meet you. And thanks. You didn't even know what I was going on, but you saved our lives. It's probably a little late for it now. But you should ask this geezer what's going on. What's going on, geezer? Sure, I can fill you in on everything. Will you listen, Lucas? Yes. Well, it goes like this. And that's everything that's happened. No, Lucas, you stay here in Tasmania. I'm certain Klaus can come back sooner or later. I'd like you and Flint and the others to work together to protect the village. Oh, and I intend to help you too, of course. What little I can, at least. Princess, I leave you the monk I leave the monkey in your hands. Oh, and the search for that moron too? Lucas, do you know why, but I somehow get the feeling I'll be seeing you again. Take care of yourself. Okay, monkey. Let's go. It's like yellow-haired, yellow-haired nests with no baseball cap. Taz Millie Village is now transforming exactly how the new Comp Peddler planned. Only a handful of villagers realize things that were good and right are being tossed away one after another. Although prosperity is increasing, an eerie darkness seems to be growing heavier over the village at the same time. However, within the darkness, a frail young boy grows even stronger, ever stronger. 
Soon Lucas will repaint this tale of sadness with bright new color. The deeper the darkness, the brighter the sunrise at dawn. One, the once coddled Lucas is now on his way to becoming a brilliant young son. Brilliant young son. A brilliant young son, my friend. Very good. Hello, I'm a frog. Shall I record everything that's happened so far? Yes, sir. Let's do this. Finally, Lucas is about to join the party, I think, but I'm, I'm probably wrong. That's not all that's happened. We went through the freaking mansion that's haunted, went through the cemetery, went through the forest, went to Dragon Hill. We did so much, but I guess it's just the beginning. Those are some pretty cool looking train carts right there, I'd have to say for myself, my friend, my, my everybody, my family online, all the people watching tonight. Welcome to 99.2.5.6 FM, your greatest radio station this side of the country. We're bringing to you to the new power of the internet. We got some Mother 3 action, Mother 3 all day, Mother 2. You got every sorts of Mother 3, long, short, big, small, green, black, brown, pink, everything. Oh boy, where's my, my pajamas are still on here. This is like the second time I get to be Lucas. Or Klaus Lucas, I can't remember which one it's it is. Um, was that a just was that just a dream? Is it now still alive? Oh man, that's sad. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Looks like he's bigger now, too. Klaus's shoes and the scrap of cloth of from Manau's dress are stored in here with care. Oh man. <laughs> Wild animals are afraid of lightning, but livestock are actually pretty okay with it. It's bony. Woof woof. I can take you for a walk if you'd like, Lucas. 
Why not? There's other dogs too. There's a two darker dogs. Another sheep, black sheep. I got a charred black smile. Baya. Black Philip. Hey, you there, boy. I realize this might be a bit of a bother, but please come talk to me. I have very important information for you. From this day forth, you'll be rewarded for your hard work. It'll be given in units called Day Pay, Dragon Power. You can use Day Pay in shops and other places in exchange for goods and services. It seems you've already earned 30 DP so far. You can save and withdraw DP anytime by talking to nearby frogs. Some frogs in special locations can conduct DP transactions though. Shall I explain this again? No. Alright then, let's try it out. Time certainly flies, doesn't it? Do you need something? Yes. Do you need to save your game or perhaps transfer DP? Let's see DP. Hmm. I don't think I actually need me right now. I'm fine. Finally, the first chapter, first parts are over. I wonder how many sections of the game are left. So this is Tasmili's famous Latin house. It really is incredible. It was, it was definitely worth coming all the way here to see it. Oh man, thank you. You must really love being unhappy if you still refuse to get a happy box after all this. Screw you. Wow, that's a Earthbound model. This simple atmosphere, the smell of livestock and sea breeze. This is the only part of Taz Miller that hasn't been changed a bit in the past three years. Well, fast forward three years and I'm big boy Luke. So that was like Breath of Fire, the child, child section, or like Zelda, child section. Did you think so much beauty would blossom up in only three years? Huh? What am I talking about myself? No, of course not. I'm talking about Tasmanian. Oh man, this guy's this guy's become a consumerist merchant. My dad is working over at a, at the factory, so he left me in charge of the store. Would you like to buy some? Oh man. Oh wow, the dog can't wear the shirt, but he can wear the hat. It's kind of cute. Paper fan, arm cacada. The happy box is giving off a wobbly sort of sound. No problem there. No problem there. It's a safe. An oven for turning iron red hot. This is the very latest automated model. Nice. No problem here. Did 
The DCMC band has a bassist named Lucky. He seems like a little bum lack, but apparently he's a really good performer. You're the type that just has to talk to everyone, aren't you? No, no, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think that's actually a very important thing to do. Thank you. Uh, here they used to raise cows and pigs where the training facility to the southeast is now. My facade bought up all the land there. Oh man. Can you imagine? Our Yaddo Inn has changed so much and gained so many new customers. Ever since Mr. Facade came to town. They say this village had no happy boxes until three years ago. Attention guests staying here on group work retreats. Please talk in whispered voices when you're conducting meetings. Thank you. This hotel's poster girl is so cute. I wonder what her name is. Why did you come in here? What was your reason? One, because I was enamoring. Two, so you could flirt with me. Three, because you liked me. Four, other. Which is it? I don't even get a prop for a choice, man. That's not fun. Those happy boxes are changing people, man. I'm a luxury ho- I'm in a luxury hotel, but surprisingly enough, I'm not actually- I'm not that acting nervous. Have you noticed? It's cause my back pocket's filled with money I earned at the factory. You kind of look like a factory worker, man. Croquet rolls are fine with me. That's just what I prefer. I'm about to go on a walk with my grandkid to Cerulean Beach. It'll be like old man on the beach. And all that. Ho oh. ho. Sniffle. Grandpa and I are supposed to go to the beach after I change into my swimsuit. But I can't take my eyes off the happy box. Sniffle. Me neither. I'm staring into the soul of my happy box right now. Yaddo Land sure has changed. Oh, hi there, Lucas. You look a bit down in the dumps. A happy box could really change your life, you know? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I hear your dad's still hiking up in the mountains looking for clouds. You should really tell him yourself that it's about time he gave up already. Oh, Lucas. Hi. Whenever I listen to Mr. Facade talk, I suddenly want everything. It's almost like he's a magician. Giggle. He's ignoring you. Lightning struck Reggie's tent. <laughs> but that's what he gets for not having a happy box. I think it might not have been lightning. Man. I love helping people out. Potato like men are my type. Well, have I got a surprise for you little girl oh lucas welcome fuel's been helping out around the store lately he's a real lifesaver oh are you here to buy something what can i get you i don't got no money lady me and bony uh nest digs through trash cans but this guy don't. Our happy cooling box is just dandy handy. So I think uh, I'm thinking about buying a happy massage chair next. Don't you think it's about time you at least put a happy box in your home already? Well, no. I'm happy teddy bear. Oh, Lucas, are you are you so jealous of my happiness that you've come to see it for yourself? Well. 
Linda is over at the retirement home again, taking care of the senior citizens there. I wish she could take care of me. You used to be so close, man. What happened? Frog on a car. Frog on a car. Come here. Is there anyone who puts money in this thing? Because I just did anyway. What? If, what? If you have any extra money, please put it here. From your trustworthy and benevolent mayor, the pusher. Well. Wes has been going bald for years, man. Oh, hi, Lucas. Don't bother Mr. Facade and the others too much now. The house has changed. Lucas. Your house certainly enjoys being struck by lightning, I might say. Do you still intend to live in it, after all the fires and scorching and whatnot? I must admit, it's a real downer on Tazmili Village's image. Your maternal grandmother has moved into the new shiny retirement home. Where is it across the way, that way? So these guys have been trying to burn my house down until I buy a new one. It's an act of God. House is struck by light. Polished and sparkling new. Maybe I'll go see Wes. Give him an old holler shout. Guy, stroke, stroke, stroke. You like to stroke a guy? I'm Paddle, president of the Tamili Boat Club. Aside from the fact we don't have a boat, everything's going great. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Stroke, stroke, stroke. I'm Ro, the newest member of the Taz Millie Boat Club. Aside from the fact we don't have a boat, everything's going great. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Time really flies. It's almost been half a year since old Scamp passed away. I get the feeling it's rare for scamps like him to be so easily forgotten. So in that sense, he's a great scamp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So he passed away. Damn. I'm not stuffed, I'm alive. I'm pretty alive, Dagnabbit. Me too. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. Dagnabbit. I wonder what this thing is. This is where Wes's house used to be. This is our training facility. What do you think? Pretty impressive, huh? I ain't slacking off. I just collapsed from sunstroke. Belch burp. You might have been drinking something. Dangerous. Dangerous. This reminds me of Kafka. Oh, you guys want to join our army too? Then you gotta eat a lot. And then you're gonna... Until you're nice and big first. You gotta be fat. What's your guy's problem? You look like you're trying to screw up our formation or something. Maybe I am. What's your problem? And it's for that very reason that I do not prefer to say it aloud, but I... But if absolutely forced to say what I want to say, what I would say, get out of the goddamn way. Nice rhyming, man. Stay out of the way, will you? Here, I'll give you a riddle to solve, so you can go think about it somewhere else. Alright, here's a riddle. Jack had a parakeet named Enzo. Jack got sick and his parakeet went missing. He was about to give up on life, but then it... But then in flew Enzo. Now, then what illness did Jack have? He had influenza. Funny. Very funny. 
Yeah. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, what? Light, left, light, left, fight, raft, fight, raft. You're distracting me, go away. It's so stuffy in this mask. Woof, what another stuff a day. I would not wear that mask if I were you. It's barbed wire everywhere. Matt, he seems so, seems to be so captivated by the happy box. Isn't that something? I'm here visiting my grandma. We play games like Pin the Tail and the Leak, Hide and Go Sweep, and the Hokey Pokey. Having your grandchildren visit is a true claw case cause for happiness. Mm -hmm. This house is falling apart. I haven't seen Flint at all lately. How is he? They do have a happy box too, but why is this house in such ill repair? And there's a lot of kids living here too. It's like a prison. Oh, the frog's in a wheelchair. Ribbit, ribbit. Shave your game, shunny. Sure. Ribbit, ribbit. Don't you worry one bit. I might be old, but I'm still as good at shaving as ever. Hey, it's Alec, and he's walking with a limp. Oh, Lucas, how you been? Lightning hit my mountain cabin a million times, making it impossible to live in anymore. I know it's hard to imagine the lightning was trying to hit my house specifically, but come on, one million times? One million is a pretty ridiculous number, man. Cool, cool. It's a fancy shirt you got. Thank you. That facade guy screwed up everything in every way possible. What is he trying to do to the village? He's trying to milk everybody's money out of them. Hard work. All that. Enslavement. Did you come all the way here to see me? Yep. Okay, I was feeling lonely since my grandkids never come to see me. But since you were nice enough to come to see me, I'll give you some spending money. It's not much, but here you go. Keep it a secret from my grandkids, though. 50 DP. I can't keep burdening Lisa forever, but I do have a happy box and nice bodied girls like Nan and Linda here to keep me company, so I'm pretty happy in my own way. I'm sorry Mike, but that's called sexual harassment these days. What? Huh? This is a hard world we live in now. How disappointing. The retirement home's really not in good shape at all. We got chains hanging from the side too. Rusty handrailing. Kinda looks like the houses I grew up in. Let's see, Crossroad stations to the north, Cerulean beaches to the west, and east of here is a nursing home for senior citizens. Oh, and to the south is your house, where lightning keeps striking. Alright, I've finally figured out this town's layout. Wow, thank you. So, have I gone to the beach? No. That could be my next destination. I've gone here. Go to the beach. Lightning strike. 
Oh, that's Reggie's tent where lightning just struck. This village sure has a lot of lightning lately. Pay attention now. Let this be a lesson. Punishment falls upon the homes of all bad guys. And lightning struck you down, Winslow. Out of the way, out of the way. Yeah, you're annoying. Shoot, kid, shoot, get. Yeah. The lightning used to be Reg's friend, but now it's, it, but now this, <laughs> but now this lightning is bad, Reggie. Well, it looks like more than one lightning strike too. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Something's fishy about these lightning strikes. Dolphin ossicle. Ossicle. What? What is that? A foss fossilized ossicle of a dolphin. An ossicle is an ear bone. Dolphin ears. Who wants these? What, what are they for? You heard a reggae rhythm. Cool. That's the first time I've seen that in the game. You get some music inside of a treasure chest. One in my generation. It appears to be an old concert poster put up by someone. But who? Well. Wow, there's actually crime in the city now. Please don't stare directly at me. It might make me want to arrest you. I think that that was like, that's taken from, Earth, from Earthbound, man. This village used to have no policemen at all. You gotta be kidding me. Who's this guy? I got busted for larceny. When all I did was pick up a doorknob I found on the ground. Probably the one that was behind Klaus's house. This isn't fair. Huh? Where's the doorknob now? How should I know? Maybe it was sent to the forensic lab or something. Looks like I've been arrested. But I actually came here on my own. I don't care what anyone says, I'm not coming out. It's nice to have a home when you're stray dog. Some moron by the name of Flint busted the lock on his door. So now I have to stand here like this to hold it shut. Okay. What are these for, man? I'm probably gonna have to give them away at some point or sell them. What is this little thing here? Notice, beware of snakes. Please refrain from practicing comedy routines in this area. Greetings, lumber people. Well, how can you even do that, man? In the old days, we sent letters by pigeon, and now look at how we do things. Computers, text, email, it's got a half a box too. That woman over there, she keeps looking this way. I wonder if she likes me. Oh, I'm so nervous. Thump, thump. It's probably not even a woman. Oh wow, that's a pig. When I lie here like this, I can't forget about all the bad things in life. He's not even looking at him. It's like the pig's butt. Because you can see the pig's head. What the hell? Shoes? These appear to be a pig mask shoes. Can I take them? This suit shape this suit shaped swimsuit is pretty sweet, huh? God, that's so hard to say. 
That man over there keeps looking this way. I wonder if he likes me. I'm so nervous. Oh, that's... Okay. I see now. So it is. Oh, Lucas, do you still not have a happy box at home? I do not. Out, out taking your dog for a walk? You must, you must really think you're someone special. Seriously, you don't even work. Even kids are working at the factories nowadays, you know? Yep. It would probably be best if you didn't talk to me. Got that? No, I want to talk to you. Are you really sure? Everyone hates me, you know? They all say I talk too much and never shut up. Are you sure you won't? You don't want to turn back now? I'm not turning back. Do you know what a trumpet is? I was actually thinking about learning to play the trumpet, but I didn't. And, and not... It's not that it was a bad, it's not that I was bad at it or anything, that's just how it was destined to be. Do you know what destiny is? Destiny. If you do, then that's cool. My destiny didn't cross the destiny of the trumpets, that's all. But thanks to, to my not taking up the trumpet, I can use the time I would have spent practicing it on other things. That's one way of looking at it. It's not like I'm doing anything wrong here. Yeah, I'll start something else, and who knows, maybe that'll turn out well. Like maybe I could start practicing the Yanopi. Do you know what a Yanopi is? It's the proper term for a piano. What if I start practicing the Yanopi now, and wind up being the greatest Yanopiist ever, charming the hearts of men the world over? Everything wouldn't. I was right about everything, wouldn't it? My fate still hasn't kissed the Yanopi's fate at a crosswalk just yet. But nobody knows what the future holds. Not even mole crickets, water striders, or horned owls. Hey you, smile. Yes, you have a really cute smile, you know? That. So anyways, basically. Fast forward. You shouldn't, you should have turned back when you had the chance. Uh-oh. She spoke my ear right off. I gotta turn my nightlight off. Ugh. Much better. Okay. Whoa, there's more. It's the lady from Earthbound that was naked, but they gave her a dress. Wow. That couple on the other side of the bench, bench has been really lovey-dovey. Dovey-dovey. Lovey-lovey-dovey-dovey for a while now. But they just won't leave. I wonder what their deal is. Looks like a little girl in some her dad or something. Amore. That's love. Amore. That's love. Love. That's amore. Love. That's more. Nice scenery. How about some nice love? Please call me anytime. Who wrote that? It wasn't me. 
There's something across the sea. Do you ever wonder about such things? Please call me anytime. Who are you? What's up here? Nothing. I don't actually know where to go. I went to the right, and I went left. I could go up. What is to the north? I've seen this guy. He was an earthbound. You're Lucas, right? I've heard rumors that you're a crybaby. You don't look like it to me, though. Well, screw you, man. I'm a police officer, yeah. I'm going to Club Teddy Boo to check out DCMC concert. I wish work would end already. No concerts allowed until April 30th. Remember that really tall guy who used to hang around Crossroad? What was his name again? Beanstalk? Anyway, he was actually so tall that he didn't stand out or seem out of place at all. I haven't seen him lately though. Tasmili Central Board. Read it. Uh, yeah. I say we remodel the old ruins of a Shoei castle and turn it into a Tasmili Resort Facility. Anonymous. Read another. If you want to ride the train, go to the station. If you want to ride the train, if you go to the station, the train speeds along and the train speeds. Let's go, go, go to the factory on the train. Train station attendants. Advertisements. Is the lightning helping us? Thanks to the lightning, all the dirty old houses are being cleaned away. So in a way, the lightning is helping all of us. That's what I think from a popular citizen. These look like all paid ads. Happy boxes are the greatest. Now develop even bigger screens, Abbott and Abbott. Create another, yeah. I want to... I want to be a pig mass too. That was the wrong use of two. Yeah, this is bad grammar. How can I be one? Yeah, this guy must be really little. I know I can be a good one. Bad grammar. Please let me be a pig mask. Also, I thought turkey's good. Well, goodbye, fried pork kid. Read another. Yeah. After a hard day's work, there's only one thing to do. Spend every last DP you own at Club Titty Boo. Club Titty Boo is a paradise of music and other stuff too. Come see the DCMC Concert Live. Club Titty Boo. Read another. Yeah. I have sand in my shoes and I don't know what to do. Somebody do something, man. Yep. Why not consider working at the retirement home? Veterans of life are waiting for your kindness. 
but please stop quitting one after the other. Who in the world is Letter? Try as hard as I might, I just can't remember anything about him. It's keeping me up at night. Mike, read another. We've been slowly running out of friends at the castle late. People of Tasmili, please pass away at a faster play pace. If you would, be so kind. Thanks. Anonymous Ghost. That's not very considerate. Read another. Notice. Scamp has died. That's all. Select cheerful police officers wanted. Start a new career as an officer of the Tasmili Police Force. Do well and you can even make some pig mass friends. Pusher, Tasmili Police Department. Read another. Hell yeah. Watch out for chimeras. Strange animals known as chimeras seem to be increasing in number lately. They're dangerous. Be careful of them. Yes. Show courtesy to Mr. Facade. There are many ignorant people who complain about him. I think that is a very bad thing to do. Taz Millie is nothing without Mr. Facade. Please take this to heart, Isaac. Read another. Yeah. Teddy Boo News. DCMC. To debut a new song scene. Desperada. Reckless. Crash Powerful. Mambo sensation. Combo, guys. No one can stop DCMC's momentum now. Read another one. Yeah. I say we remodel the old ruins of the Shohei Castle and turn it into a Taz Millie Resort facility. No. Read another. Yeah. If you want to ride the train, go to state. Okay. Yeah. I've... It's repeating now. I'm done. This is the knit map, knit cap man's car. I've never seen this model before, it's a new one. Oh wait, no, it, it's the retro, or new age retro hippie, but with a cap on instead of an afro. Hi there, I'm the friendly item deposit guy. If you have anything you, you don't need, or don't want to carry around, I'll gladly hold on to you it for free. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, so I do have things that I don't really want to hold on to. Oh no, what did I do? Shoot. I got a little hasty. I need that. Okay. I'm always traveling to one place or another. So if you ever need anything, just let me know. Anytime. Gotcha. Mini charm. I've only heard the rumors, but are you the ones who stock up on food and then walk around without ever eating it? You really need to eat, you know? You're still young. Wow, thanks for the concern, lady. Oh, there's something here, too. Lucas opened the present. Beef jerky. Man, I really wish I could eat, I could have some beef jerky right now. Some delicious old... Man. So those two must work at the factory, then. Come on, now. Jackie, get real. I can't possibly bay him. But just think about it. No one's seen hide nor hair of Duster since he disappeared three years ago. It's gotta be him. Come on now, that's nonsense. Oh, hey there, Lucas. Oh, it's nothing. There's this concert hall named Club Teddy Boo, past the factory. And the bass player there? He looks kind of like Duster. Jackie here is uh, convinced he is Duster. 
but he looks just like him. I really think we should tell Old Man West. Maybe if we knew for sure, but we'd only wind up disappointing Wes if it turns out we're wrong. The guy we saw just happens to look a lot like Duster. We don't know any more than that, period. Anyways, time to head home and have some chow while I wash the happy box. You took the words right out of my mouth. I'm starving too. We'll see you, Lucas. Tell Flint I said hi. Wow, man. Didn't even say anything other than that to me. The train won't be coming for a while. Well, damn you. I wanted to ride a train. Like the billboard said. There's a blue mobile house over there. That's interesting. That interesting one that looks like it uh, it was made with whatever was handy at the time. Do you see it there? And uh, do you see the guy next to it in the knit cap? Apparently he's uh, he'll hold onto any items that are weighing you down. I think it I think it'd be more convenient to leave your cumbersome matters with him than to walk around with them everywhere you go. Plus. He does it out of the goodness of his heart, so he doesn't charge any money. Wow. I actually did send him already. And, uh, I'm storing stuff. Bread roll. That's a new item. What does it do? I had nut bread before. 60. Okay. I hear there's a place along the tracks where magic butterflies flutter to and fro. Well, you're just staring at a wall. I don't know what you're doing. Sprint and bomb. Sunset Cemetery. Graves have never looked so scenic. No zombies allowed. Well, there are zombies in there, just hiding in the ground. Hold it. That's dangerous. What the heck are you thinking? I don't know what your story is, but you're still young. Don't just throw your life away, okay? Alright then, now that you understand, go on. And just forget about me. See ya. Your life was saved. Well. That's one way of doing things in the game. It's pretty clever. Um, I can go to the castle and see what's happening. Are there zombies? Doesn't look like it just yet. Oh, Lucas, your old man's always visiting Hanawa's grave. I used to do that myself. Poor Mr. Nippolai. Apparently, lightning struck his house 14 times over the course of three years. These statistics are kind of nuts. The remains of my humble abode, no tourists. It's almost like they're being targeted for not having happy boxes. But that... Could not possibly be, could it? There used to be something down here, too. Oh wow, all the vegetables are gone. What happened? My humble, my humble little turkey patch. I don't see nothing. Po... Potatoto. 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 Uh 
I'm gonna go you go for a dip in the little hot spring right here. We're gonna heal up nice and nice and strong, nice and fast. Me and the dog swimming around, getting our RPG health points back up. We're good. Alrighty then. I wonder if do I actually need to be here or not? You know that feeling we're just kind of land can it all right I read that long ago oh no nope no I didn't want to do that come on all right what else is there oh my goodness she is staring at me Oh boy. Hmm. How quaint, how nice. It's a nice little castle, man. Is there actually anything I need from here, or am I just wasting my time? That was the hot spring down that way. Here, there's nothing. Ghost. The basement's down here. Oh, there's bad guys. Holy cow. Oh, Bobby damns a barrel. Uh, let's see. Hit him. And... But what is... What? Sniff. I don't want to sniff. Let's hit him. This guy is tough. I was like one shot in this guy from my other party. Alright, good. Not so tough anymore, I see. Oh, wow. Can I, oh, okay. That's good, that's good. Alright. What's down here? Hmm. Oh boy, skeleton. Oh boy. Cheery skeleton. Um, shoot, I don't want to do that. I thought dogs like bones. Why wouldn't you just eat it? Come on, man. Throw a dog a bone. Give a dog a bone. Hey. Yeah. There used to be a guy up there, no more. Um. Yeah. There's another skeleton down there I don't want to fight him. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here. Oh. Oh, it's respawned. All right, so what else could I possibly find in this place? Hmm. This way, I haven't gone this way yet. Oh boy. All the five places in this castle are connected with via squeaky red squeak crit okay. Squeak red. That's that's a play on words. Passageway. Keep it squeak red from the ghost though. Will do. Oh man. We partied and partied for so long, but finally it got old. So more and more of us gave up that party life as time went on. Wow, I'm surprised you came here. This castle is so boring now I could just die. It was the setting for an adventure three years ago though. But there's been nothing at all since then. Nothing. In fact, 
If you hadn't come and talked to me just now, today would have been yet another empty day leading into an empty tomorrow. So, how about a leisurely chat? No. Oh, but I want to talk. No? I see. Okay, whatever. Um, it's kind of foreboding that he'd say that, because now I feel like there's absolutely nothing I can do here. I want to cook. I want to cook. Yeah, I want to cook. I'm gonna haunt. It's gonna haunt me forever. Well, here he goes, man. Haunting's something that happens. Oh boy. Wow, it's almost like Belch, but it's a uh, strawberry slime. Uh. I'm kind of afraid that this is gonna be like a really hidden, overpowered enemy, so it's gonna decimate me. Maybe not, though. Bony's getting kind of stomped on. Okay. So far, so good. Yeah. What do I get? Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. What you got? What you got, baby? Sprinting bomb. It's not too bad. If I do say so myself. Okay. Uh, yeah, I already took that one, man. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think there's really much, much of anything to see here anymore. Yeah. Candlestick. I don't have the rope snake, though. Duster's got one. Oh, man. Just let me go. Here we go once again on my own. I'm saying really badly. And we can still go to the west and then to the north. I really am just like, I don't know, man. I'm one of those guys that tries to talk to everyone in this game. In these RPG games. There's simply been far too much lightning lately. This lightning somehow doesn't seem natural. That said, uh, I can't imagine there being such a thing as an artificial lightning. Hmm. Well, isn't that what electricity is? You can get like arc, arc, uh... Oh man. Jim's Towing Roadside. What is that? I gotta take a phone call. Jim's towing is calling me. My apologies, that was a towing company. They must have had the wrong number though. In order to read the sign, you had uh, had to trample on the flowers at your feet. Oh man, I see them too. They're they're green, they're uh, green, yellow, and orange. Did he even realize that? I do now. <laughs> though the person who placed the sign here really is the one to blame. Oh wait, that's me. Sorry about that. Please throw all your empty cans into the trash bin. I don't even see it. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah, right here. 
Okay. Oh, a kid from the village. You're so nice and unsophisticated. Jeez, what a snob. Get out of here. What kind of snobby lady just sits in this building waiting to call people unsophisticated? Look at you. You got your blonde hair, pink dress. You're unsophisticated. Get out of my face. Oh! What is that? It's a Slytherin. Slytherin. Slytherhan. Slytherhan suddenly attacked. Okay. It's got the head of a. Uh, rooster and it's got a snake body what kind of person just sits there in a room by themselves waiting to call somebody unsophisticated who would do that um Two slither hands. These things come up on you real fast. I can just do this though. Game over, man. Game over, man. Boom. Boom. Two for one. That Italian pizza. Pizza hand, man. Pizza hand heaven. Hop out. I do. Save it. Save it. Save it. Thank you. Now, wouldn't a nice hot hot spring feel so good right now, but everybody's locked up in their house. Can't go outside. Can't go to the hot spring cause it's too many people. Can't do anything. I snuck up on behind. Okay. Alright. Now we got. Come on. What you wanna do? Gotcha. Dumbbell Momo. What the hell is that? Alright. Alright, pardon. We're going north. <gasps> what kind of like crazy alien rat is that? Big mouse. What's he doing down there? Oh! A really flying mouse. A really flying mouse suddenly attacked. Okay. Hit him. Sniff him or hit him? Hit him. The really flying mouse bit him. Oh god. Just get him. Get him. Get him. Alright. There we go. Slither hand. Your days are numbered, buddy. I think Boney's getting a little low on health. Might as well give him a heal. Okay, now I'm good. Um, is there anything down there? No. Anything? Oh God! What the hell is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What in the world? What in the world is that? Grated yam monster blocks your way. Uh... Okay. Uh... How am I gonna... Okay, just hit him. Bite him. Oh no. 
Okay, so he's paralyzed basically. Um God. I'm not I'm doing like no damage. Holy crap. I better run. I better run. No, 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 no. Jesus. No. 123. Uh run. Okay. Wow. That is a death trap and a half. Okay. I gotta go back and heal. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy guacamole. They just got infinitely more difficult just now in this area. I, I gotta go back. I might have to go buy some new equipment too. Um, I can't run because Boney's, Boney's not doing so hot. Uh, let's see, uh, just in case, let's do that. Uh, got him. Okay, good. Alright. This is good so far. Uh, damn it, I'm, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Nice. Alright. I kinda wish that I had Duster. Duster's actually good. Lucas isn't that good. He doesn't have any special abilities or anything. Oh boy. Poor Boney, man. Not doing so hot. It's kind of sluggish right now. Come on, Boney, let's get in the water. Woof, woof. Arf, arf. All right, now we're good. Here we go. Now we're running, running back to the town. Oh wait, uh, did I go inside here? No, I didn't. Regular old mice run of the mill snakes, ordinary dragos. When you think about it, the four sure was born until three years ago. Oh man. So they're the source of all these strange looking animals. Oh boy. There we go. Alright. So, in order to help us kill that yam monster I need to get me some new gear and I gotta spend my DP points that I probably earned from from uh, slaying some monsters up there to do so let's see oh wow cutscene what's happening here it's Wes! Facade, stop it. Quit running around town any more than you already have. Quit ruining this town any more than you have. Not ruining around town. There's something not right about all this lightning, especially today's. I think you guys are behind it somehow. Leave this instant. Keep your grubby hands out of the town's affairs. Why, hello there, Mr. Weiss. You know, if you keep making the veins in your forehead pop out like that, happiness will only escape you, by which I mean your hair. <laughs> in this case, in any case, I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Well, it's been fun. Please be careful not to trip, get hurt, go bald on your way home. Whoa! Cease this violence. I'm no bug, I'm an old man. Poor guy. Today's day and age you get sued for that. God, my teeth feel kind of funny right now. I don't know what's happening. What happened? 
Lucas, quit snooping around me. Don't get in my way. Well, I can do what I want. I really wish you would put a happy box in your home already. So you can be happy just like everyone else here. I'm always hoping for that day. Oh well. I do. I want to have some DP. Give me some nice old DP, man. Oh no. I did, the, did it the wrong direction. Alright, good. I'm gonna wipe the floor with that stupid yam. He's mixed. Damn it. I can't buy weapons there. I want weapons. Alright. Kid shirts. I think... Yeah, that says up. So I can get them. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, hat. Yeah. Hat. Wait. Did it equip that? I don't know if it did. Let's give that to Boney. Okay. Boney needs to have a kid's hat and that's it. What else can I do here? Uh, let's try selling something. Sprinting bomb. Well, what can I even buy for the price of a sprinting bomb? If you're confused, one painless whack of this fan returns you to sense. Um, Pisces bracelet would be pretty good, I'd say. Well, I could just sell that bomb. I guess. And I won't take like a billion damage from uh, that yam monster now. Huh. I just gotta quickly. I apologize to all my viewers. I gotta just quickly like send a text to my friend. But I apologize. It's just very quick. God dang. Alright. I apologize for that. I just had something to urgently send off to my friend on my phone. But, yikes. I'm back now. Um, yeah, man. Here we go. I gotta kill that yam monster because it near obliterated me. Oh boy. I just went the wrong direction, too. I just can't let this stand. This aggression will not stand, mate. This aggression just will not stand, my friend. Oh boy. Did I get a- No, green attack. Alright. Boney with the big damage hits. He's getting strong now. Bada ba bum bada dunna no 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 
Pony is actually doing good damage for once. Lucas is doing better too. This is good. These are good things. Whoa, smashed him. The smashes don't seem quite as, uh, quite as satisfying as Earthbound, though. They're a bit quicker, but for some reason that Earthbound smash, just like the sound effect, the light effect, all that stuff just, uh, just feels so good. Alright, got him. Green attack. Green light, my friend. Flying Mouse. Last time this guy was giving me a hard time, but I think I might have an easier turn this way. Damn, still 23 damage? Uh, that's better. Took me more than two, uh, two turns to get through him last time. Uh, let's see. How about the Yam Monster? Am I feeling brave enough to get to take that guy on? Man, oh man. Let's see. Last time this guy gave me a hell of a fight. Let's get him. Sniff actually does. Smells like an animal. Smells weak against light or ice. Smells weak against strangeness. Okay. Um. Coughed up flame. Oh my god. Is it? Oh my goodness, man. No. It's not worth it. I don't think I'm gonna win this. I don't think I'm gonna win this. No. Get out of there. Oh man. PK freeze. B. That's that's bad. I gotta get out. Oh my god. I'm gonna die. I'm dying here. I'm dying here. I'm dying here if I don't make it. Oh god. What a nightmare. That guy's just too powerful. Oh my god, there's another one. Um. Alright, since that Yam Monster can't actually come at me, I'm just gonna walk around it. Actually die here. Yeah, that's no good. No, I might die here. I think I'm gonna die. If I don't run, I'm gonna die. Yes. Thank goodness. This guy's like literally the reskin of Ness. I swear to God. He's reskin of Ness with different hair color. Different hair color? Reskin. I think even the shirt is the same color.
suddenly attack. Here we go, baby. Smash. Dude, I thought I'd get him that time because I smashed him. Sorry, my friend answered me. I gotta take this first. Yeah, man. I apologize for that. I just had a friend ask me some important questions, but I'm back. Slither hen, head of a hen, body of a snake. Peculiar cheese. My golly, I think that's a random health recovery stat or item. But if you give it to Duster, then he goes full on it. Oh boy. They're finally just like, they're rebuilding this house that burnt down the first uh, part of the game, but looks like it got hit by lightning again. This is where Fuel and Lighter live. I haven't seen old Flint lately. How's he doing? Is he visiting her grave again? Now, maybe it must be uh, up out in the mountains or something, isn't it? Squeak, squeak, squeak. This house secretly living and got blasted by lightning. They don't have a happy box. All the ones without happy boxes get blasted. Man. Oh my God! He wants to debate me. Come at me, man. You know what, guys? Poor kids and impoverished kids are just as bright, just as talented. Never mind. Everyone's the same, everyone's different. Good and bad, what may have you. Oh boy, I almost got a red attack there. I like the sound when Boney attacks. He does this weird, like, growl move. Like, Bora! Bora! Baked Yam. I think that's a 60 HP recovery item. But I can't fact check that for myself, unless I open up the menu. Oh boy.
All right, we're winning. I gotta, I gotta heal up Boney, and then we can continue on. Oh, it's forty, not sixty. Boney's getting, getting HP's back. HP. Here we go. These guys lag. I feel like the difficulty curve just like fixes itself within one level in each of these zones. Like you go from being like severely underpowered to just like these enemies mean nothing in just one level. Cause like a little while ago I couldn't even get through that guy in three turns. I got one level. Now it's like he's basically nothing. Sprinting bomb. I just I sold one of those so I could buy like a new defense item. But now I got one back. That's good. Uh oh, oh god damn it. <gasps> Tag nib. Oh god. This is a lot of gas. Are they healing you? No, they're healing themselves. Doesn't that just waste a lot of time by them doing that? Oh boy, they're hitting pretty hard too. Uh, I might need to heal myself. Or do this. I'm just gonna do that. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is gonna get really bad real fast. I gotta get out of here. And they're healing themselves too. I'm not gonna win this fight. I gotta run. I gotta run. Oh my goodness. How embarrassing is that? Oh boy. Oh my god. That was almost a red attack. Oh, I can't even beat this guy. I gotta run. Okay. We're out of here. Oh my god. Get out of there. Get out of there. Alright. Um, peculiar cheese. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. Boney don't got anything. But let's see, can I give it to him? And bread roll. And use that. 20. Not so good. 60. That's pretty good. Oh no, I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. I did not want to do that. Okay, I got super lucky there. I got so lucky right there. Oh my god. If the Yam Monster even hit me once, I'd have been dead. Oh my god, there's another one. Uh. Damn it, dude. This is a death trap. And a half, man. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, I don't think I even need to go that way. I need to go right. I need to go right past this hand, sneak past him. Alright, good. And... Oh my goodness, man. He's just waiting for me. Alright. Alright, we, we faked him out. We faked him out. I think. Alright, we faked him out. We gotta fake this guy out, too. He's fast, so be careful. Alright. Okay. There's two of them here. I might be able to take them one at a time. Alright, Boney get him. Boney get him. Damn it. Come on, Boney. Alright, Boney. Now we're good. Oh man. What kind of bad luck is that?
Oh man. All right. Now I just got to get back to where I was without getting into trouble. Let's see. Okay. I was this far. Did I go to the... No, I didn't. Alright. So where do I go from here? Uh, jeez. I'm there. So I go down and I go left. Oh, no. Down and left. Down and left. Down and left. Down and left. And I go up. Okay, it's easy. Oh! Okay. Better. Better. Cameraman, zoom it! Cameraman, zoom it! Toe this light king! Toe this king! What's up, my brother? Soon to be in memory of Lucas. Yeah, uh, it's, it's my. I've I played this game about maybe like five years ago, but I can't remember half of it, man. It feels pretty fresh. I just got Lucas in my party about like maybe like an hour ago, but I played the game like from the beginning through Flint. And Kumatora, Bony. Oh my god. I almost got a red attack. Hope you're having a great. What day is it today? Wednesday? Wednesday evening? Staying at social distancing? Not going out into the. the war zone? Oh my god, this is the guy that almost wrecked me last time. Staying safe, staying healthy, not coughing all over the place. I swear to God that that same model is used in Earthbound, but on a smaller scale. Um, let's try to isolate this one from the other one. All right, we did it. Big bud in the hypnosis. This guy's like actually real threatening. I mean, he basically killed Lucas. Wow. Big heels. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna be able to kill him, aren't I? Boney needs to be up. Wow. I hope he runs out of MP soon. Why are you grinning at me? Oh my goodness. What? How much? He's like... He's just soaking all my stuff. Healing up. Every time. Alright. Last guy. Last guy. Last guy. Okay. Get away from the bush. Get away from the bush. Alright, I'm gonna get behind him. Get behind him. Go! God, my supreme strategy tactics didn't work. Hypnosis? Oh, thank God it didn't work. Thank God it didn't work. He looks so happy and he's got this bead of jewel coming out of his mouth. Like some really happy thing. Special little worm there. Alright, I know for a fact this guy, he's gonna heal me up. So I gotta fight him. He's gonna just spam heals on me. Alright, guard and guard. Alright, is that full HP? I'll do one more. Maybe two more. Good. Um, let's do one more. 
Oh no, poor guy. He doesn't want to fight. He's just part of the forest, trying to rejuvenate the environment. We got rid of him though. Okay. So, there's a house. It looks like a house over there. Maybe not. What is it? I do need something. Let's save it up. Alright. Thank you. Oh wow, so the mod gypsies are in this area. Maybe they're here. This way. Huh? I can't even cross that way. I heard a waltz rhythm. It's kinda cool. I kind of prefer the jazz rhythm more so than that one. Oh my god! It came right for me. Reconstructed mole. This guy looks super sinister, man. Oh my god, he's calling his friends down. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Three attacks. Take three attacks. Alright, you better not call for help no more. You're gone. Get out of here. Go on, get... Alright. Another one. <gasps> oh my god, that looks like a back attack. Three attacks. Oh my goodness. One more. Two more. Four attacks. Oh god. Please don't get another one. Oh no. Wow. Where are they coming from? They're coming out of the rafters, man. They're falling out the ceiling. They're coming out of the ground. They're burrowed deep. From every direction. They got drills on their hands. They're smiling. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of XP, though. Oh god, the stone's even coming at me. Uh, I don't want to fight that other guy down there. Oh god. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I don't know which direction to go. Maybe I'll go right, because there's a house down there. Oh man. Red roll. This is perfect because I can use it to heal uh, Bony. out there. Things are rough. Things are rough and tough out there. Oh yeah, now his grave was to the right of here, I think. You had to come here like uh, near the start with Flint. Um, am I right? It's down here? Or something? Isn't it? Mistaken? I must be. Huh. I could have sworn it's down this direction. And now is grave. Man, I don't know. I thought it was up here. Maybe I'm just not seeing it.
It's too damn bad, isn't it? What does this sign have to say for itself? Coming soon, Oriander Observatory. Okay. Got him. Didn't get him. I thought it was a green attack, but he turns around at the last second. Now he's probably gonna get me a chain of five enemies. Hard five enemies. Or not. Thank you. Maybe it's beyond here, because there's ants last time. Oh no. When I fought him last, I had Flint, and Flint was actually incredibly strong compared to these guys. Ants? Come on, really? You and your ants. Man, I'm so lost. I wish you could just like warp back to town somehow, but you can't. Maybe if I die somewhere. Oh god. Oh no. This is the guy. This is the guy that calls everyone his grandma. Oh, you're not gonna do that too, are you? Okay. Good. Everyone is ma, his pa, his grandma, his cousin. The guy that freaking that mows his lawn, calling everyone over. God damn it. What is that, Cousin Jebba? Jeffrey? That's right, you better not call anyone else over. Private party. Alright. Oh man. Uh, maybe I go down into the left. That's like literally the last place, uh, only place I haven't been. Or wait. No. Well, there's that one place next to the cemetery. Actually, wait, yeah. Cemetery. But. Damn it. Am I that? Wow, man. I probably have to come back here, like, in the near future and just, like, right after I do the grave thing. Oh man. I need to run. This guy's too strong. Damn it. He's freaking trolly as hell. He's freaking purple ass. Bugs. There's probably something even worse right up here. Just waiting for me. Oh man. Yeah, there's nothing here. I totally missed that part in the cemetery. It's like that offshoot little stupid alcove. Man. I just been running around like a chicken with my head cut off out in the hills. Solutions right under my nose. It's like the second screen from town. Oh my goodness. Of course I just like end up getting an encounter. This is how I die, isn't it? Some derpy looking some foolish looking flying rat. Some hand snake. Just bites me right in the 
the nether region to bleed out. It's like staring up at the sky. Oh, help me God, how did I wind up here? Just flat on my ass. Snake, hand bite, bleeding out. Fade to black, baby. Oh my god, I did not mean to do that. I gotta run now. I gotta run. Yes, thank you. I'll make you fade to black, motherfucker. Get out of here. Thank you. Oh my god, he's coming for me. You better not hit Boney. He's only got six health. Okay, good. So far, so good. Okay, good. Boney dodged that one. Fantastic. On, what? Okay. How dumb was I? I was just like running around the mountains like some dumbass idiot, right? There. Oh my goodness. All I gotta do is go to the cemetery and let. Oh my god. What a fail try dodging. Crying out loud, man. Like, just look how easy this is. I could have just gone up. Could have gone up. And then you just go right. That's it. Just like that. Here it is. Been a while now. You should go talk with your mom. Huh? Poor guy. Is mom doing the laundry? The dog's just like sitting there sniffing the ground. Wife of Flint, mother of the twins Lucas and Klaus. Daughter of Alec. May the beautiful Hanawa rest in peace here for all time. Alright, now we're to, what? Where do I go to now? Probably back home. It's probably gonna send me to the mountains after. I already like done and cleaned out the mountains about three times just trying to go to the top because I thought the grave's at Alex's house, but it wasn't. Man, oh man, oh man. Is my house broken now? Oh no. Some billy goats. Wild animals are afraid of Latin. The livestock are actually pretty okay with it. Okay. Good to know. seem to be going in the wrong spot. Like, that 
Flint was just up and gone when I left. Where do I go to now? I wish I had the map some guy. Just mark my map. Oh, I thought that was maps and smart. Now where do I go? Maybe I could go check on Wes, because Wes got, like, kidnapped by the pig man. I think Wes is up here. I really embarrassed myself earlier, but curse that facade. Treating me like a bug, like a stag beetle. What? A guy who looks like Dusker? Could that moron be... Lucas. I'll now lower my voice and talk to you in a whisper. I hate to ask it, but... Could you go see if this look-alike really is my moron or not? Facade's cronies are on lookout for me. So I can't go anywhere, or do anything. Please, go find that moron for me. Will do. If you do find Duster, send the pigeon to let me know. Cuckoo. At long last, my time to be useful has come. Receive the carrier pigeon. Thanks, Lucas. I'd go myself, but everyone's on the lookout for me. I gotta stay in the in this elderly home, eating TV dinner, peeing on the floor, busting holes in the floor, eating rats coming out of the hole, clawing the walls. See the nail marks on the walls? Claw my way through the wall chain myself to the wall all that stuff all right see you man save it shave your game shunny alrighty don't you worry one bit I made a big puddle right there on the floor. Thank you, Frog. Oh, wow. Some nice, nice wet treats. Bucket to collect them. She's happy. I hear the guy who looks just like Duster is a place called Club Titaboo. Alright. And they said it's like past the train station. So I might be able to take the train there. Oh, dang it. Watch where you're driving, man. This is where Mapson is. Uh, no, I don't mean injury wise. Hair wise. But... He doesn't help me no more. Man. No such thing as free lunch. Not anymore. Train that goes directly to the factory from the station is currently out, but the conductor is out of on the town, so I don't think the train will be coming back today. If you really want to go to the factory, then I suggest walking along the train tracks. Don't tell me when I said that, though. All right. Just like dancer in the dark, mate. Ugh. Are you going to stop me again? I don't know what reasons you got, but it looks like you want to go through this tunnel, right? I know you won't listen to me if I try to stop you. So here, I'll give you this instead. Mm. 
Railway Map. Do you know what the most frightening things inside the tunnel are? No, they're not slither hens or even mud but mud mushrooms or anything like that. The answer is trains. Trains are the most dangerous things of all of all in there. So be very careful not to get hit by them. Thank you. One, two, three, no trains at all. I don't think they're coming. I remember you. You were in Mother 2. You were in Mother 2. I remember you. I remember you. Do you remember me? I was in Mother 3. Spanking you with glee. Thank you. Dun and a noot, da do da do, da do da poop, a do da jute, a woo da doop, a do da boop, a woe da boop. Oh my god. You again. You're coming to me from a different game. You don't belong here. You got too many spots on your mushroom cap. Get out of here. You're in the wrong game, man. Ba do da joop, ba da ga goop, a do da hoop. Here we go. Bite him. Smack him with that bat. Get him. Just get him. Ba do da doop, the train track, the train track. We gone track. We going through the tunnel, man. A boo da boop. What was that? What's that? I hear some mushrooms up there. Come here. Got him from behind, baby. Grab the tail. Grab the tail. S throw him to the ground. Smack him like a rope to the floor. Alright, here we go. Oh, God. Get him. Get him. Rambling mushrooms. Mush butt. Mutt bushroom. Mutt shrimp shrimp. Get out of here. Go on, get. A go, get. A go, train. We're going bony. Me and you. Me and you. I don't know what I'm saying, but we're going. What does that say? You. You, I. Thank you. Alright, a bite a boop, it's a head in the ground, it's looking at me, oh my god. Well, well, well. Alright, now, you look like a golf ball, I'm gonna swing my club, and... I'm not going to hit you because I'm a nice guy. You encountered a squawk king stick. Walking stick. Squawk, squawking stick. Okay. It looks kind of like a goose or a uh, swan. Swan head. He's just healing himself. That kind of reminds me of those, uh, those Pez things you'd see in the store. And you'd, like, load them up with Pez and you just eat them. I don't even know if those things even exist out there anymore. Trains be gone. There's not even a single train yet. That guy's just being overly cautious. If there's so many trains running through, why why is there so many of these hands on the tracks that didn't get run down? 
That guy's just full of bull. Full of bull. Mohawk. Scared of everything behind him, even his shadow. Man. What's there to be afraid of, man? I got all this dog protecting me. I'm not even on the tracks half the time. Oh, man. Clothing. I think that's clothing. What is that? Girlish clothing lying on the ground. It doesn't look like Kumatora. Butterfly. It's just like Earthbound. Oh, there's more of them. Uh, I don't even have side points right now. I don't need that. Oh, wow. There's another one inside. Oh, what the hell is that? A flying frog. Get him. Get him. Okay, it's just a safe frog. I see. So the frogs are all friendly in this game. But if it's like a rat, or if it's a hen, go up the ladder. Ah, I see. Can I miss that if I go down that hole? Oh dear. That's either a magic. I think it's a Ma Gypsy, yo. That's totally a Ma Gypsy. It looks like that G Jason Statham one. <gasps> it's Jason Statham, Ma Gypsy. I think it is. Aye. <laughs> Y'all caught me stark na naked. Oh, aren't you you that boy I met at Aeolia's house three years ago? Remember you said you're you're gonna go to Drago Plateau to avenge your mother? That wasn't you? Really how odd. I'm Iona, one of the my, my gypsies. This is a magic butterfly colony. I often come here to be revitalized after I've worn myself out by overusing my psi power. I don't even have psi power right now. Are you here because you're overused your psi too? Oh, you've never used psi. That's odd. I sense loads of magical power coming from you. Oh man. Oh, that's weird. Uh, wait. Just endure it for a little... Oh, God. For a little bit. Huh? Don't struggle. Just endure it a little bit. Yeesh. Just a little more. Okay. Huh? What did he do? He was turned backwards. Yikes. Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas learned life up. Healing. Offense. Defense. Lastly, power welled up from deep within his heart. Lucas realized the power of PKU. Lucas learned how to use PSI. What a... What a... What a transformative experience that must have been. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. You can use PKU. Not even my gypsies are able to use that. You sly devil, you. Come here. I don't know where you come from or where you're going, but we might meet again. So at least tell me your name. Lucas? Thanks, I'll remember that. Now go. I want to boil up, too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah.
Let's kindly leave this place very quietly. He's a nice person. Oh man, flying rats. That was an interesting experience. Very, very cool. Here we go. I'm not gonna... Oh, wow. What the heck is that? Mushroom. Okay. Not a mushroom, a mushroom. Actually, wait. Can I do PSIU? Mm -hmm. And then just hit him. Oh boy. Wow, that was kind of scary. Gotta admit that. At least he's gone. My dog's stronger than your dog, man. Oh my god. My dog's stronger than your dog. You remember that. I know. You. You. I told you my dog was stronger. Get him, Boney. Sick him. My dog's gonna get your dog. Here we go. Look at that. A dog butt. It's got a mushroom on it. Oh no, please don't work. Thank you. Yes. Yes. My plan panned out after much pensive thought and strategy. We've won this battle. Oh god. I want to destroy every rat anywhere, propeller rats included. I'm going to take you out. You're blocking the tracks through the train. You're obstructing traffic. You're making people waste their time. Good working people. Good tax paying people. They need to get to work at the factory. You're halting production just because you want to stand on the tracks. Please don't call your friends. I'm begging you. Please don't. Thank you. Good. Over and done. Over and done. What does that even say? Left, right? What does it say? Tasmili Factory. Cliff Tracks. That was worth it. That was worth it. Very much worth, worth it. Was there really nothing? Yeah, there's nothing here. We're increasing the number of cattle snakes. Are you? They see they are extremely dangerous. If you see one, stay away. View them from a distance only. Camera laboratory. So apparently all these monsters are just being made in a lab. Those are dangerous cattle snakes. They seem pretty docile. These things, uh, probably dodge them and get secret access up here. Oh no, he's calling his friends. Do not do, oh god, oh no, hell no. That could have gotten bad real fast. We're blessed though. It's probably over this turn. Have faith. Alright, we got him. We got him. The enemy's been taken care of. We can celebrate this great country. We're safe now. Alright. Conductor here. 
50 DP person for factory workers. Everyone else, a ticket to cross road station is 2,500 per person. You're kidding me, man. I guess there's stuff like that that applies to the real world, world too. Like employee discounting or just like being the owner of, of the corporation you get freebies. I'm not slacking off at all. I'm, I'm sort of like you, you know? Keeping an eye out for people who are slacking off, yeah? What are you smirking about? I know, I know people like that I've ran into out there. They like, all they do is like, try to point fingers, avert the attention, so they don't get fired for just slacking off. Oh man, again, two for one. Wow, what are the chances of that? Are you gonna bring two more guys in? Man, this battle's stressing me out so much. I gotta take a little freaking lozenge too. Oh, my throat's bothering me. Edible mushroom. Lucas. Uh, Lucas. Um, Bony. Uh, Bony. Bony. Alright. Back on track. Oh man, do not touch him. He's apparently dangerous as all danger may be. Flea powder. I am guessing that's like a CC type of thing. Makes him itch for turns and then you can just hit on him. Oh man, he respawned. That guy did too. Walking stick. No, not him. He's gonna call his brothers too. Okay, good. Now, you shut your mouth. You don't call no one. You tried to call someone, but you're dead now. Thank you. You don't try to call anyone on me. You don't try to call anyone on me. Youngsters, here's your chance to sweat beautiful sweat. Part-time help. Wanted at the factory. All those interested apply at the factory. Right this way. Okay. Bow, ba -bunk. I swear I've heard that music in WarioWare. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Uh, you, everyone says that. It's a pig bank. Piggy bank. I get it. Literal pun. You think I wouldn't notice? Game designers out there, you think I wouldn't notice? Oh hey there Lucas. Working in the factory isn't easy, but you do get free tickets to the titty boo out of it. Titty booze out. You got your titty booze out? Okay. So it's not that bad. There's a vending machine here if you like to use it. Yeah. What have you got? Fizzy soda. Beef jerky. Paper fan. Flea powder. I don't need any of that. Keep it to yourself, man. So I'm guessing this is titty boo? Or it could be the factory? No, this is definitely the factory. I know you. Hey Lucas, are you here at the factory for something? I feel like you if you feel like working, I'm sure they'll hire you. I had to fight me one of them. They're tough. Poor guy. I wanna just go to Club Teddy Boo and find Duster.
Where's Duster at? Man, I gotta take my my sore throat thing. Or else I, I'll become a mute. Live on stream. I'll become a mute. Stay tuned, everyone. Watch me become a, a mute. Live on stream. Hey, you suspicious fella. What, what you doing here? Huh? What you doing here, man? What's that? You want to go to Club Titty Boot? Well, well, that's a special place for workers here to go and relieve their daily exhaustion, right? It's not for people who don't work here. If you absolutely have to go there, then it's simple. Just do some part-time work here. What do you say? Are you up for some part-time work? Uh, I really do want to go to Teddy Boo. Yeah, that makes things easy. The job is to transport Clay Man. First, go all the way inside. You'll find a ladder there. Go down it. You'll find a bunch of Clay Men in the area below. Some of them will be almost out of energy, so you gotta bring them back up here. Bring them up one at a time. After you brought them, brought up three, then you're done. Just be safe. To be safe, I'll give you a sketch of how the factory's laid out. I need three of them. Bring them up. Factory sketch. Got it. And sign your name on this document. No, no, not your name. I mean, you know, the name of of the person in the background. Huh? The person pulling the strings, I guess you could say. I, what I mean to say is the the player's name. Why are you call me player? I don't I just need verification purposes. It's nothing too important. You know how it is. Anyways, if you could do that, that help out a lot. Something here's fishy, man. He's he's catching on from Earthbound One. Maybe he's gonna use my name for something fishy. Got a bad gut feeling about this. Great. Warren. Is that your name? Warren? Yeah. Alright, got it. I'll add it to our records. Now listen. Don't you do anything bad. Because that'll only inconvenience Warren. So don't forget that. Alright. And work hard. Hold on, dog. Dogs have dog things to keep them busy. Go on ahead and do what the boss dog says. So there's a dog boss. He's gonna tell Boney what to do. <laughs> what? Aww. Poor guy. Really? The clay men low on energy are very weak, so you'll know which ones they are right away. Alright, hop to it. Hop to, hop to, zeta bing bang boom, hop to. I thought I'd have to take these back. Did pull them down? There's a lot of them dead. Everyone's working down below. They're digging up clay to make clay men out of... Got it. When we zap Clayman low in energy here, they start moving again. These machines almost seem to invite you to use them. But you can't touch them. People can't touch them or else they'll get zapped something fierce. I've never I've never touched them, of course. But I really want to I don't know if you want to do that, man. Ignore the urges. Ignore the urges. 
I can see some very bad foreshadowing there. He's gonna end up hurting himself. Uh, let's see. I guess these are the ones they pulled out already. I can't really do anything with them. Oh, there's a pig running in the mill. Oh boy. This is how the plant's powered. Pig power. It's like a pig AC generator, you know. Alternating current. The sine wave, positive, negative. Cut magnetic lines of force. The pig's doing it all. Alright. Woof woof. Poor bony man. Pig power, dog power. Oh, the here. Hey there, Lucas. Did you come to see me? Oh, you didn't see? Oh, I see. How's Flint? Same as always? I see. Why are you such a jerk? Man, get out of here. Uh, that one looks healthy. Hey, part timer. I use this lift to send low energy claiming up to the ground floor. So just bring one here and talk to me. Hmm. This one seems good. Hmm. Very interesting. That one's good too. Where can I find me some bad apples? I don't see none yet. Looking for, uh, okay, this guy's a bad apple, I think. You're gonna push them down? Alright, let's go. Out we go. Here we go. No, I can't go super fast. Gotta push them the slow way. Here we go. Slowly. Gently. Gently. It's like a dance. That we do together. Gently, gently, up we go, left, right, left, that wasn't too hard, oh you brought one, you brought one already have you, okay, hold on a second, I keep spitting on my microphone. It's not a good thing. He's tired, that's all. He'll get better. I uh, going up with him? They're gonna zap me, aren't they? Maybe not. So this is one of three that I gotta bring up here. Maybe this isn't the right way to go. The path is a bit narrow here. There we go. Okay, number one. Don't zap yourself. Safety first. Back to normal. How come these other ones don't look normal? There should be some more, just bring them up here. Two more to go. Alright. This one's looking uh, not too hot no more. It's time for a recharge. Ah. Go! I think I glitched him out. He's like, he's not going. Okay. No? What? Oh man. Please. Bad programming. Alright. There we go. He's not going. Okay, I gotta talk to him.
Holy cow. All right. It's probably faster if I just go this way. Last time it took me an ion and a day to get down, move it all around. Back streets back. All right. It's time to fight. Got the claim man. He's gonna spite you. One more to go, baby. One more to go. Big baby daddy. Big baby daddy named Clay. Hey. I'm Clay. I sat up all day. I made some hay. With the help of my name. This factory is digging up clay. But I hear it has one other secret purpose. I don't know if it's true or not. But they say there's an insanely huge dragon buried underground. Supposedly it's bigger than this whole island. Yeah right, you gotta be kidding me. Once a day, I just have to finish work so I can go to Club Titty Boo so I can see Violet in all her hotness. Hee <laughs> hee. I know you, you're Thomas. Hi, is that you, Lucas? Or are you someone else? I never imagined that you, of all people, would ever take the rope wake up to visit Club Diddy Boo. You are Lucas, right? I am. Aw, oh, crap, I screwed up big time and I broke the claim man. I'm gonna have to haul this to the lift and carry it to the entrance. Yep, looks like I'm stuck doing overtime today. Maybe I can do that. No. Stop moving. You want to go to Club Titty Boo? That's what the ropeway behind the factory's for. You can go straight there by going up the ropeway. If you're thinking about climbing up the cliff instead, just forget about it. Construction, construction, construction. Is this one weak or is it what? What is it? No, it's not. Oh, this one's gone. We got a drained one, brother. Take him out. Take him out one at a time. I've been working on the railway all a live long clay. I've been working on the rail road. All a live long clay. Clay's been working on the rail road all a ding dong day. Get out of here. Go up on that lift, boy. Smack him. Get him. Now we're gonna ride up, we're gonna zap them, we're gonna go to Club Titty Boo. We're gonna get this pig power to zap them, AC energy, cut magnetic lines of force, freaking Faraday's, Faraday's Law, generating electricity. Woo, good work, that's enough for today. Don't forget to get your pay from Mr. Brown. He's the guy at the entrance. He's got a blue suit on, man. He's not Mr. Brown. I'll call him a bluey, like he deserves. You finished your part-time job. Whoa, 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 yay. Give me that cash. Give me that titty boo. All right, babe. Oh, good job today. Here's your reward for a hard day at work. Whoa. I got a ticket, and and your, and here's your pay for today, two hundred DP. Wow, 
work every day and you can make even more money. Work up a good sweat as you strive for your dreams. You're still young after all. Man, they, t they do tell you that in those really crappy part-time jobs. And they go nowhere, like working at 7-Eleven and stuff. Yeah. Go relax at Club Titty Boo and have a good time. Good job today. Spend your money in our... In our establishment owned by us. We're paying you a shilling to give back to us at the club. What kind of scams that? Get out of here, dude. Whatever happened to homesteading and living on your own? It's a happier life. Where's Club Titty Boo? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. For those wishing for another day of wonderful leisure time, Club Titty Boo has what you want. Let our profoundly bizarre atmosphere wash over you. So bizarre, man. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. It's a pig plant and a bat thing. Isn't that how COVID started? The bats and the pigs were living together? Ropeway. Uh, area map. Okay. Yeah. I think I got a ticket. Yay, yay. Imagine somehow in this universe they figured out how to use dogs and pigs to generate all the electricity needed to f to make this whole area functional. Pig power, dog power. We need to do that in in our world. No. I'm too scared. I don't want to pay my money. Hard to earn money. To look through a pair of binoculars? I got two eyes in my head. Get out of here. Lucas opened the present. There were fireworks inside. Ugh. Ugh. Hop, you, do you need some? Yeah. Or perhaps transfer DP? Uh, let's save. I don't trust frogs. Anyone out there trust a frog? Get out of here. Oh, this looks like Dalam. Where Pooh's from. Oh wow, these bouncers. Skinhead. <laughs> he is a skinhead too. Whoa there. Haven't seen you around here before. We don't allow pets inside. Sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Oh my god, look at this guy. He's a neckbeard. His name's Neckbeard. <laughs> Come back sometime, some some other time. Skinheads and neckbeards, they won't let us into the club teddy boo. They're protecting it. We're, we're undeserving folk. Oh man. Boney's all dressed up. It's that guy who had a dog with him just a minute ago. And some dog-like dude. <laughs> no, there's something fishy about this. Where'd that dog from earlier go? And where'd this dog-like dude come from? And on top of that, you smell underage. Sniff, sniff. 
You smell like an underage kid and a dog. Now that you mention it, this is weird. No suspicious people allowed. That's our rule here. Scram. Get lost, you kid-like guy and dog-like dude. Now, I say we pulverize him right here. Do I realize to fight the skinhead and neckbeard? Oh, it's Kumatori. I swear to God that's Kumatori. Oh my. If, oh my. If it isn't the underage smelling poo. And the dog smelling woof. Wow, that's like a, that that's an Earthbound reference. Poo. I take it you two have been mistaken for an underage kid and a dog yet again. Giggle. What? You know these dudes, Violet? I don't know, I still say there's something not right about these guys. Especially this dog-like dude standing in front of me. Shake. Don't look away from me. Shake. See? You do know how to shake. <laughs> yes, I do know how to shake, but... This guy's definitely dog-like, but it seems... He isn't a dog. But dude... If by chance you are a dog, you'd be one of the best dogs to ever shake. Huh. Wonderful. Come in. Have lots of fun and forget about all your words. Please enjoy yourselves. Wow, man. As soon as a lady comes in, the neck beards and the skinheads. They all obey. Obey. Good job. Thank you. DCMC merchandise available only at Club Titty Boot. Come stop by if you want to support us. Okay. Duster CMC. Duster CMC. Hey, dude. Have fun. Gotcha. Woof, that was scary. That guy kind of reminded me of, uh, the guy from The Big Lebowski. Uh, the guy, uh, the, the ex-military guy. We don't have restrooms for dogs here. Oh, you're not a dog, my apologies. Giggle. Here we are, Big City Sodas, on sale now at Club Titty Boot. You really should try one at least, once. Giggle. Why not? On your advice, my friend. Let's get a big city soda, like I said. And for Boney, we can get a dog biscuit. Good Boney. You've been good to me. Have a treat. There's a slot for money here. Insert 10 DP. Well, it's gonna, gonna give me a random thing, isn't it? Cola. Why are you staring at me, girl? Can't keep your eyes off me. All waitresses here giggle at the end of everything they say. That's very true to life. I really wish they'd get rid of that rule, though. It's so stupid. Giggle. <laughs> hey, how's it going? I got some homemade DCMC merchandise for you right here. If it breaks or rips, I'll stay up all night and, and fix it for you. Nah, just kidding. I kid a lot. But never mind. Never mind that. Buy some of these things here, DMC goods. Fine. Oh wow, so it's like actual good things. This pamphlet though isn't as good as what I have on right now. That's better. Um, 
What is a ring, dude? Okay. I don't even have enough money for that stuff right now, man. I'm sorry. Town de Gaza. That's the greeting, you know. The greeting. Town de Gaza. So, yeah. Everyone in chat? Town de Gaza to you. You should at least learn the DMC. DCMC greeting, you know? So there's tons of flyers for the upcoming concerts. DCMC Jazz Night, DCMC Funk uh, Latina Night, DCMC Macarena Night, DCMC Membership Mer Application, DCMC Fan Appreciation Festival, DCMC Concert for the King P, DCMC Mini Comedy Club, I can't speak anymore. I have to take my lozenge or else, like, man, my, my throat's getting so sore. I apologize. Just one second. Alright. Keep out. Staff only. I think I'm just gonna go outside and talk to the frog and then try to gear up. Because the new areas usually have like a pretty deep skill curve for the very beginning. Or so I've seen. 1601. Exactly. Good job. The one vote that mattered. Let's see. That is not as good as what I have, but it's effective against DCMC fans, which means I'm probably going to be fighting them, and I probably need it. Sure. Yeah. The hat, sure. The ring, sure. Yeah. What about him? Hat, yes. Ring, no. Okay. Um. I don't want to talk to Kim Matora right away because I know it's going to send me somewhere. Are you a lady? Uh, yeah, I'm a lady. There's someone in here. Alright. Save the game. <laughs> I just wasted time, but I went out there to get money out, so I didn't waste time. Actually, there's a bolt in here. What does it say? Nothing. Alright, time to go talk to this pretty lady in the center of the room. Shh. Listen. But don't change the expression on your face. I know I'm dressed in this crappy girly outfit. But it's me. It's Kumatora. We met at the Sunshine Forge, remember? I'll explain everything later. Put a smile. Put on a smile, will you? Okay, good. Okay. The next DC MC song is about to begin. Please go in and find some empty seats. Giggle. Alright. Here we go. It's time to rock out. Rock out of DC MC, baby. Horn man. With two ladies with him. Pigs. Some random dudes by himself, random girl by himself. Perfect concert setting. I love the magic. Bacchio, Bacchio. I've been to quite a few concerts myself. I saw Sean Lennon. That's the latest one I went to. 
I saw a destroyer. I saw. I saw Lil B, the bass god. I saw. I saw. A ASAP Rocky. I saw. Who else did I see? I saw Slow Dive. Slow Dive was a hell of a show. That's a good concert, man. Wow, you're really late. DCMC's already open. Oh, man. Encore. Of course. In my line of sight is that girl who's always at the beach. She's staring at me like she really likes me. I'm starting to think that I could like her, too. I know the one. Tone to Goza. In my line of sight is the man who owns a peach. Da 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 da. Yep. Supposedly there's one guy who makes the whole world go around. No, actually, I'm sure if it's a guy or not. I'm not sure if it's a guy or not. But I guess it could be a woman or even a kid. I hope the encore starts soon. Oh, and here after e each concert, one of the girls here even gives out free DCMC pamphlets. I just bought one. Lucky the ba bass player definitely looks a lot like Duster. But I don't know. There's something different about him. I can't, can't quite put my finger on it. See that scary looking guy over there? The horns? I thought for sure he was our head honcho. But apparently there's people that... There are people way, way higher up on the ladder than him. So he works for the pigs. I've been wondering about it for a while now. But you know Lucky, the bass player? That totally has to be a wig, you know? Ew. You have such a hairy face. Chuck. Yeah, what do you want to... What do you want? Sniff, sniff? Smell like a dog. Like a dog and a kid. This ain't no place for dog smelling kids to come. Don't call me a dog, kid. Wow. You piece of crap. Get out of my face. Wow, man. What do I do now? Is it, do I just, like, get out of here? Young Cole won't start if we keep walking around like this. Let's go sit down. Alright. Walking like this is exhausting. Well, Thomas is, like, speedy up in here. Speedy Gonzalez. What do you guys like to drink, sir? Gagel. You want water? <laughs> oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just wondering if who in the world would order water in a place like this. I mean, come on. Water? <laughs> hey, Violet, babe. One fizzy soda for this here boy. And a big city cola for his dog like friend. It's on me, the great Thomas, of course. Certainly, sir. One fizzy soda instead of water, and one big city cola come right up. Giggle. Well, I never thought I'd see you here, Lucas. Here you are, gentlemen. But don't change the expression on your face. There's a lot I need to talk to you about after the DCMC concert. It's over. After it's over, don't leave. Hang out in the lobby. I'll be there to get you. Alright, see you later, man. You idiot, don't change that your expression. Alright, man. Well, enjoy yourselves. So we gotta meet up with her later. For some... Extra trickster rules. What were you and Violet talking about? I never knew you were such ladies, man. Oh, it's starting now. That kind of does... No, 
Yeah, the guy, the bass player, kind of does look like Duster, with different hair. Tone to goza. Whoa, some fly in here. Are you enjoying the show? Oh my pork! Looks like the time's up. Sad to say. So here's one last song for you. Here's King P's thing. Hit it. I kind of like this show set up a little bit more than uh, Earthbound. Earthbound. The Earthbound shows were just like kind of lame. No setup with like the band equipment. Just a bunch of like models walking around the screen. It's actually kind of lame, but this is cool. The song though kind of is just the same thing, right? But metal. Not bad. Pretty good. I right, hope everyone in chats having fun Wednesday night. Staying safe, staying home, not exposing yourself to risk. It's a way to go. While the world finds a cure for this big ol' mess. Hope you all are enjoying Mother 3. I'm having a good time. Even though I'm like kind of just talking my ears out. Arf, arf. My ears are ringing. That's very true to life. Ever go to a concert? Bring earplugs. Man, the DCMC, the, they're always so awesome. No, no matter how many times I hear them. Tone to goza, tone to goza. Alright, so I gotta go back and speak to Kuma. Wasn't that DCMC show just great? It was a, it was so full of soul. Choo choo. How about DCMC pamphlet, a souvenir of your first bit of Club Titty Boo? I just bought one. They're real popular with the diehard fans. You just scored yourself some nice swag. Giggle. <laughs> Lucas got the DCMC pamphlet. I might just save it here and maybe call it. It's getting late. I want to thank everyone for tuning in, for giving me some company playing the game. Um, probably gonna raid someone. I'll be back tomorrow night. I feel like following and keeping track of my journey here with Earthbound. Feel free. Go right ahead. It'll let you know when I'm back on, but it should be sometime in the afternoon. Um, we are gonna raid somebody who's playing Earthbound. Um, let's see, do I know anyone? Dorks.net. There's two guys playing. They seem pretty cool. Gonna raid them. If you like Earthbound, just say hi. Thanks so much for the love, everyone. Support. Stay safe out there. There's people that need your help and not dying by spreading this disease. My mom's one of the people that passed away, sadly, but I'm trying to get over that. It happened a month ago. Thanks everyone for the love, support, and have a good night, everyone. Bye.